Wander beer, screaming cheers. Wander topics, no psycho trumpets. Welcome to the Centurion and enjoy our pandemonium. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, hello, uh, fans. How are we going? As you can see, we got a new format this week, our first live show. With us as always, Jack, you, Sweeney, Sean. Oh, uh, please ask us questions um, in the in the comment section below. Say anything you want, and uh, you'll, we'll, you'll get a shout out. We'll respond to you. Um, this week's challenge, we had uh, the Reddit account who can uh, accrue the most karma. Watch out for that. Um, it, was, it was pretty crazy, uh, very competitive at times, not so competitive at others. Uh, also, we got three topics cut out from last week, so we're going to do an extra three to make up for it. So it's 103, a little bit of a centurion, which makes it a bit more exciting, but... A bit more drunk. A bit more yeah. drunk, it's a bit crazy. Yeah. Uh, last, last week's uh, Dude Hold My Beer Award went to Xavier Mitchell, congratulations. Uh, and last week's Plum, the status of a Plum Award was Griffin Triscari. Uh, awful question. I think he was asking, uh, what's our favourite beer? Guys like us, we get all the time, you know? Enjoy the show. Yeah. Um, uh, this week's uh, episode is brought to you by Grammarly. Uh, if you write anything on your computer or phone, you need to get Grammarly. Uh, I write pretty much all day, every day, and Grammarly makes writing better. Uh, as a survivor of a life-changing traumatic event that left me unable to spell, read, and write well, uh, this drastically improved my confidence when talking to people. Uh, I like it because it's free. That's pretty much it. It corrects everything as you write it. Uh, grammar errors, spe spelling errors. It even helps me find the right word to use. Uh, so I can say. So what can I say? Wait, uh, you should have written this uh, ad read out this in Grammarly. I think. Yeah, What's our promo code. Dave? That would have been awesome. So head over to Grammarly.com with our promo code beer. Uh, that's right, B E E R, uh, and get a whole year of Grammarly for free. I thought you said it was. Free. <laughs> it is if you use our promo code. We can't. We can't rip very well, Joe. Yeah. Those yeah. get punches. Sean, your week. Yeah, so this week we obviously have the Reddit challenge. Um, so I think I got 1,200 karma, which placed me in um, second overall placing. But, um, you know, my plan for this week, um, I've never used Reddit before, but the plan was really just... I essentially just begged for <laughs> upvotes all over. Super um, upvotes. I realised the best way to get upvotes was going to Scooby Doo subreddit or just post porn on a bunch of other subreddits. A bunch of kids liked it. So how that's... old were the kids? <sighs> don't know. Don't know. We'll soon old enough to use the internet, huh? Porn in the Scooby Doo subreddit, I right hear. Yeah, mm. that's that's the trifecta. They were terrible. Sure. You were literally just e begging the entire week on the free karma subreddit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I never used. How did you think you went with the there. position fire? Second, I got second, but um. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see soon what's happening with that. Um, uh, listen, I've uh, I've won the Reddit Karma Challenge. That's now four challenges, uh, three wins for me. So you pretty good, sure right? Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure I won. I got about one thousand four hundred Karma. I think Sean was sitting about one thousand two hundred, and uh, and you'll hear others uh, soon. Uh, my strategy was just kind of to relentlessly post on a few subreddits. I also picked up the Scooby Doo subreddit when I saw it was pretty successful. Uh, I went on the r slash or subreddit a bit where you post cute pictures of animals. <laughs> yeah, I saw exactly. Jackson had some success there. Yeah, yeah. But what really got me ahead, I, I had one lucky punch from the gods. Uh, I'm, I'm in a group chat where someone shared a cricket meme and I posted it on the uh, cricket subreddit. And then I got like 800, which really did the job, you know, everything else. Oh, I was probably tracking for third yeah. uh, until the end. Straight down the middle. But then, uh, yeah, then that did it for me. Yeah, so really you know, yeah. much like the walking challenge, it was really just one one big effort, one lucky yeah, punch yeah. from the gods that, that really tied everything together for me. But, uh, you know, happy, happy to go back with another win. Jackson, how's your week? Thanks for that one, Swain. Um, my week's been pretty average. Um, uh, at the start of the week, uh, Monday morning, had to go and get... Uh, my dog put down, but uh, uh, even worse, I was um, tracking to come first for the challenge, and um, yeah, ended up coming third. So um, I ended in one thousand two hundred and ninety-two karma. Um, so you know, not pretty good effort, I thought. Um, I posted in R slash or quite a bit, um, and yeah, Scooby Doo. I stole Sean's idea of the Scooby Doo subreddit, which worked really well. So thanks for that, Sean. Yeah. yeah, I didn't revert. Uh, no, I'm expected. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, it's a gold mine. Mm. No, it really is. So yeah, pretty good week for me. I'm happy with third. Especially mm. a gold mine this week with all the great content we posted on. Yeah. I think we really got vibing <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, I think we really we all um, added to put our own personal marker on Reddit that uh, I'll never forget. So, hey, you drunk fellas. Okay. Yeah, my week was uh, pretty good. I had my uh, last assignment for my uni degree, which uh, took up a fair bit of my time, so I didn't uh, devote as much time as I would like to to the Reddit challenge. And I uh, faced quite a few obstacles uh, posting. I um, often got my posts deleted, or I had to wait a long time because I didn't have my account um, active long enough to like be allowed to post so so frequently. So I only got 48 karma. I actually thought I had 50, but it looks like it's gone down. Yeah. Uh, I was yeah, downvoted. I, <laughs> I tried to, I tried to, you know, I, 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 I wasn't posting safe, you know. I was trying, I was trying to go for the the controversial post that either went really well or really bad, but they always went really bad. So um, look, I look, it looks, seems like I'm gonna be the loser for the week, and uh, looks like I'm gonna be having the end Connor extra hot sauce right there. Um, so I'll get my spoon loaded up with that now. Well, and uh, on in. the next ding, Man, the oh. face, it's gonna be, awesome. it's gonna be crazy. Go. Here we go. Tell me where to stop, fellas. Just load up that spoon. Show it to the camera. Don't you fucking dare. That's pretty good, surely. All right. Show us what you got. Okay, let's go. Shout out to Carl C. Oh, oh. Hey, oh that's fucking. That's hot. <laughs> this is real. Was that yeah, worse? Was that worse when you did the big spoonful of mayo? Yeah, way worse. Maybe that it's not that bad right now, but I know it's going to get worse. Creeps up on you a bit from my experience. We should have got him a bucket, probably. We should have got him a bucket for any of us, to be honest. But Yeah, that's not good. I just threw him like place. fucking ice out, Jackson. That doesn't help. <laughs> Do you want more ice? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, no, it's bad now. Is a box there to spit in? I'm not this whole nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spit fucking, box. I'm not going to fold. Well, that's what you, know you know get what? for only getting 50 karma or yeah, 48 yeah, well, karma. That was, literally, that was literally like 22 times a year for the next yeah. person. I kept checking on everyone's profile and every anything Cooper posted just got deleted straight away. Yeah. Like, I'm not buying my rules. Yeah, sad, really. All right, next week's challenge. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, who can cut the most uh, weight? So, uh, you know, a, a beneficial challenge for me. You know, I'm, I'm really in desperate need of, of cutting <laughs> a bit of weight, as, as Connor notes right. in the comments. But, um, yeah, that would be interesting. Well, we're only going to start the weight cut. We're going to go from Monday through till uh, uh, through till the Friday when we record the podcast. So, so that'll mean I actually have a bit of time to you know feast out, put a bit of weight on before the big weight cut comes. Uh, you know, what's going to be your last meal before you lose all your weight? Probably probably Sunday night. Yeah, then it's going to be a bit of weight cut mode. That's going to be my last drink. Well, what well. are you going to have? Mm. That's your specialty. Coming on the beers, surely you know. Yeah. Mm, yeah, you would hope so. What are your predictions for it, Cooper? Uh, you know what? I think, I think I'll go well this challenge. Hopefully I can bounce back after my performance last week. It didn't go too well. I think I've got the most to lose. Uh, so that should help, hopefully. It's a percentage um, as well for everyone out Yeah, there. percentage. So um, it's not just going to be who loses the most. But yeah, I think, I think I'll go okay. We'll see. All right, Cooper. Do we support uh, euthanasia is the first uh, submitted question. What do we think? It's a bit of a, bit of a political one, straight off the bat. I don't get what the problem everyone has with... Um, euthanasia, this is the same joke everyone fucking says. The young Just people in, in... Shut the uh, fuck up. That's not funny. Yeah. Uh, it's not funny. I knew someone was going to fucking do that. I think it's fine, you know, I think if you want to die, then, you know, better to just go out when you want to and tell it's worse now. Too much. Nah, people, say, people kill themselves all the time. You may as well just, like, have it on the government records anyway. Yeah, I think they need yeah, to see so your family finding you. Yeah, exactly. Finding a court, so the government yeah. sends you like a text or something. It's like, yeah, this happens. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's obviously still distressing, but not as distressing as finding your son's corpse in yeah. his room. I think it's, nah, but I don't think euthanasia is going to be like for teenagers that are suicidal. Yeah, it's, yeah, I, I think, think it's, it's more, more I think it's going to be people that are terminally ill. What's yeah. the point of it? Because then you don't have to like people who turn the It's not going to lower the suicide rate. Right? It's not what it's about. I'm a sick of Java euthanized. Okay, next question. Uh, what's better, drinking on a Friday or Saturday night? And that's from Luke Mosley. I think that's a very good question. Shout think, out Luke Mosley. Shout out Luke Mosley. I personally like Friday night because it makes a weekend feel longer, you know? You wake yeah. up and you still got the few, few, two days ahead of you. What do you guys think? For me, it's really, um, at this point, I think for the next probably like 92 weeks, we're going to do the podcast every Friday. So obviously that's going to be the best night for drinking. Yeah, I think yeah. it's Friday night too because I think... Maybe Saturday overall is better for drinking, but they're saying about, you know, if you put in a hard stint on mm. Friday, you know, you've been working all day, or you've been at school all day, or whatever, you know, and then you just come back on a Friday, and you're smashing the beers. Yeah, pants yeah. off Friday. Drive home to Fitzy and Park. 
Yeah, you go know, back to your unit. Friday night, 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 Saturday day, obviously better than Friday, Friday day, day. But yeah. Saturday, oh Friday night. If you yeah, can drink on a Friday day, you're doing right. Yeah, yeah. you're probably yeah. doing terribly actually. Right? <laughs> you probably don't have a job. <laughs> probably not that much going on. Point. But uh, yeah, you know. Just yeah. scroll down so you can ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, listen. Uh, well, would you well. rather have a really bad stutter or an abusive stepfather? Uh, Cooper, a bit of experience with this. A bit of both. Yeah, Judging by yeah. intro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. You know what? I think stutter because I think the long term effects of um, being abused at an early age uh, is really damaging. But it's a stepfather. So, how abusive can a stepfather be? They only come in when you're like. Eight. But not necessarily. Some people are. It's really some step people abusive, isn't it? It's, it, you know, it's contentious. But if you've got a legitimate father, then they'd have to bail pretty early. You know, yeah. They, to be really they really would have to bail early. Quite sad, um, really. Um, yeah. I, I, would, I, I think I think I was stuttering, but that, that's your whole life too. I, I think. But yeah, I think see, that's the thing. The, the sure abuse is probably for your early career, your early life. You probably get over that in your like twenties. I disagree completely. Yeah, yeah. it scars people forever. They never depends what abuse you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Well, for the most, gives you an acupuncture. Well, for the most part, you stutter. You, you don't have to stutter. You can get bullied. All right, first live podcast. Got to ask me, what's the best bit about doing this podcast in person? Just being next to my fellas. Yeah, my best bit's being next to my best friends. Neck and, and having a good time. You know, show them the show. How good, Please Jackson? How good? All right. The worst thing about it definitely is now I actually have to do my shots. I can't just. Yeah, yeah. Jackson's yeah. always got a way to do my shots. Jackson been drinking black currant juice in the last few weeks. He's saying he's drinking wine. Yeah. Cool. No, no yeah. it was awesome. I think I think we can incorporate better role plays this way. My so favorite, much delay. Yeah. My favorite thing about this is we on the on the film you can't talk um, at the same time as someone. You feel like you 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 can't on the video, but in person you kind of yeah. Can't you got to you got to be more wary time. when yeah. you're because you, you can really override someone. When now it's it's more fluid, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna be a lot more cringe overall in person. Yeah, I think we'll be the king of cringe. Yeah, the king of cringe is here. Um, I think there'll be a lot more actually in person. But I think the cringe is what's going to make it. I really think it's what's going to make it a good podcast. Yeah. That's what How many people we got watching? Well, what two Australian broadcasters would we like to see go toe to toe in a celebrity boxing match? I think this question sort of is kind of wrong. Because there's not really Australian broadcasters you could call celebrities. Most of them are pretty low profile. I'll go, I'll go, like, like, I'll go like Kyle Sandy Lands and Waleed Ali. Yeah, oh, Basil Zemplis and Walida. They really hate one another as well. Do they? I don't know. I mean, sure they, they would. They would. Surely they would. Surely points. I can't yeah. imagine Kyle Sandlin's white. But that would have to do a big weight cut to get down to the similar way. Kyle Sandlin's with the PR. Probably if you want someone, someone, someone like Koshi and um, Kyle Stefanovic. Koshi can suck it in. Uh, Koshi's good. Yeah. Yeah. Koshi. The sunrise guy. The guy with the white hair, short. Oh, yeah. He's on sunrise. How about um, how about Fitzy and Whipper? You might see them go at it. Yeah, with the pair yeah, yeah. Hamish and Andy. Yeah, Hamish yeah. and Andy. Uh, I saw um, Andy on TikTok the other day. Andy's nothing without Hamish. Yeah? Yeah, yeah Hamish is a funny one. too bad. Actually. No, sorry, other way around. Uh, who's who's uh, a Hamish here? Who's a Hamish here? Oh, that's... Uh, uh, next time, maybe that's a good question to ask. Uh, what would be the next ailment that Cooper will get? I think given <laughs> that he's going to do a big weight cut, he's going to do something to do with that. Yeah. Get a ailment. staff infection, Someone's going to get someone's gonna be a kidney stone if we do this. Like, ailment like a beer? No, it was like a, like a disability or like an injury. I reckon was going to go blind. He's going to go blind. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. If you have another smart tape one, he's got a good chance of getting a tape one. Yeah, oh. that might be pretty rare. Good boy, did he meet? Like, What's everyone's favorite, like, favorite ailment of mine? Uh, I like a like tumor. Do you mean the, the, do you mean the, the um, bilateral tumor? I like a bisexual tumor. That wasn't that was bad. <laughs> do, do you mean the. Um, I like the penis. Yeah, no, no, it's tumor in your foot. Oh, yeah, no, I had a benign tumor in my foot. Yeah, benign tumor. Bisexual tumor. B9, you suck my little foot. Yeah, so, there you go. What'd you say? <laughs> that was shit. You fucking lift your name, Jackson. This is the live podcast, okay? Sorry. <laughs> I love the tumor. It had a lot of clickbait to it. That's what I'll. That's what the scar is. Have you ever a tumor? Show that next week. Probably had cancer, but um. No. no. I told everyone. All right, Griffin Triscari. He asks, uh, "What are your trustiest pairs of shoes?" Uh, Sean, we might start with you. You're a bit. <laughs> what I'm wearing, what I'm wearing right now, the um off-white Nike Vapor Max. Because everyone hates them, and everyone says they look like shit, but they're sick. Beat up piece of shit. You suck a dick, all right? Okay, Jackson. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, trusty Yeezys. Oh man, no, are they trusty solid. though? Yeah, they're solid. They're they're the seven fifty. You, you would have a good pair of beaters. Yeah. They're not beaters. No, I'll go with my. Yeah, if, yeah, if we're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. trustiness, you want to see like they can work for everything. So I'll probably go my Tims, my boots. If there's an apocalypse, you can do everything. With oh them. no, my, my reliable shoes probably won't work. Boots. Yeah, I got yeah. my thong. What's your favorite? Nah, what's your favorite? Go somewhere. No, no, no. 
Uh, uh, Havianas, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that's basic. Everyone or just Kmart Havianas. default ones, you know? <laughs> Get the double plum Havianas. Havianas. They're, they'll never blow out. Yeah, interesting. Um, what does that mean? They're double plug. Instead of one plug. Double plug they got the double in plug. The, in between the toes. Tell us more about Donk. Um, your mum looks good in one. Oh, that's pretty Would you cool. rather never be able to use pockets again or never be able to use a microwave? That's fucking good. That's my question. You like it? That's a good that's question. That's my question. Um, it's a hard one. I'll probably say, never pocket. Because you never, no, you don't actually no, no, need a microwave. Not at all. Microwave, you can use an oven. You can yeah, use an oven or a stove. You, you could always have a bag with you or something. Yeah, but do you want to carry bags? You can have like a bum bag. But when you have I use a pocket. I use my pocket all day, every single day. Every single day. Yeah, I think all day. I would probably have to go with pockets. My wallet, my phone, man, everything. You guys have convinced me. I got this one wrong. I think I think oh, so you pockets are. You, I think you'd rather the pockets. You'd rather, you'd rather keep pockets. Because the microwave is very convenient, but you can do anything else on the yeah, stove. Yeah, you know? that's fair. But it, it, would, it would suck. Can you pop the microwave. Pop one oven? You know you can do it on a stove. My dad he doesn't know how to use a microwave. Doesn't my dad doesn't get it. He's, he's, half, half, he's half microwave. He's half microwave. Does he use his? Can he use technology? Uh, yeah, I imagine. Yeah, you'd have to use some pockets. So, so. Everyone needs no, You need pockets. Would you have a shot? Uh, what's your least favourite commandments of the Ten Commandments? There's a couple of them that are kind of dumb. Something about, you know, not having sex with your neighbour's wife. Or, <laughs> that, that's, that's a stupid commandment. No. Sweeney, don't you hate the one that don't have sex? Oh, no. Um, <laughs> that's um, just human decency. Yeah. <laughs> no. Bear false witness I or something. That, I that's think you know, you shouldn't lie. I think the respect your mum and dad, dad that's what which is like that's very no, that's, that's respect it's very friend. context um sensitive you know like you probably should but I think they translated it wrong he sometimes really you should. have to lie you know yeah you know what, what if you dad's not about lying it's about what if you dad's probably not taking you. God's name in vain that's a bit like you might say oh my god yeah you know? it's, like, it's, it's like it's like a good deep deep no one's saying that it's just calm down come on god it's the n word for catholic people yeah god can we bleep that out? Please don't say, that. Yeah, please say God. What are you going to say about God? It's too late, it's life. Yeah, fuck it. Thou shalt not kill. I hate that one. <laughs> oh, that yeah. one's bullshit. We're like killing someone. <laughs> uh, how do you end a relationship that you're just not vibing uh, anymore? Ben Clark asks his jeez. Oh. Jeez. <sighs> Sorry, Ben. Take that, Ben Clark. Fuck the knee as well, must be said. Uh, yeah. What do we think? How do you end a relationship you're not vibing with anyone? You probably talk to them and say, I want to break up. That would be my uh, Do it over the phone. It's easier. You would have to come in contact with them. And you never have to see yeah. them again after Depends that. Depends how long you've been going out with them for. But, like, but if you're not vibing it, it's probably yeah. a short relationship. Yeah, no, good point. <laughs> 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 Right, you know, fucking we three on the podcast, okay? We can't say that, especially not live. That would have been so good to say if it wasn't live. We can't I say see, that. We, we'll that. just bleep it out post. Yeah, we'll, just say it, just say nah, it. This is for the live viewers. They get a special. Uh, okay, so I think the comments what you think Sweeney said. Yeah. yeah I think if it's a short relationship, you can edit it. Yeah. Right? Oh, it depends how long it is. I find it easy. Nah, it's been like a lot though, because of the. It's probably bad to do. And you can end it over TikTok. Yeah, 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 making TikToks that you're done yeah. to like you're doing the red game. Yeah. You're not single. Yeah. 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 Like, like, don't you care? Uh, is it love if it's not mutual? A uh, similar sort of vein of question. This one comes from Anna Ice Roberville. Uh, thank you. Did they bait? Uh, is it love if it's not mutual? <laughs> um. <laughs> Gee, those two questions are a bit. <laughs> 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 those. A bit low, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> You can, I mean, like in terms of romantic love, it's not love, it's not mutual, I think. But you can like love something, you know. I love chips, I think, I but think, that's you know, and I, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't yeah, deny that. Yeah. I think you well, can like, love people, someone. People who get obsessed with like celebrities, they probably yeah. truly do love them. Cause they're no, insane. But even but, in a relationship, I think you can love someone and then not love you. Yeah, well, it's a mouse too. You could yeah. be way more invested in them. They still love yeah. you technically, they're not like you know, mm, wow. But you, you would do way more for them. Look, what do we think about the connection here? Interesting. Look, it's it's definitely something. It's how can we how can we analyze this relationship based on the question we've ever asked? Um, do you think that those <laughs> who loves oh, who, I didn't even notice who that. loves who more? Hmm. Ben. Yeah. Ankle socks so, really makes thoughts. Thoughts. What do we think of ankle socks? Look, as an avid user of ankle socks, and I only have ankle socks unless I'm going for like a business meeting or something. Um, they're perfect. Everyone hates on them. Everyone used to love them back in the early 20s. They always fall down the, my ankle. What do you mean? They're on your ankle. Oh, oh they go ba- down. No, you think about ballet socks. No one wears ballet socks. That's cringe. These ones that go straight up. about the invisible ankle. socks, Cooper? Yeah, invisible Maybe socks. Maybe I'm talking about invisible socks. But, um, you overall, know, they're great. You, you know what your mum's favourite pair of socks are? Yep. Kenkel sock. Oh. What do you mean? She loves... So fat. Uh, what? The cum sock. Yeah. This is live, Jackson. Sorry. It's like your fourth minute. Jackson, no more editing. No more editing. 
Jackson will be the biggest album. Um, Jackson, have you ever worn ankle socks in your life? Yeah. Yeah, Jackson wears them. Yeah. Yeah. Only, only, only wear ankle socks. I thought you wanted to hate them. Yeah, yeah, whenever you wear them, you never wear long socks. I'm quite aware. No, I'm yeah, Jack Alvill. Yeah, I wear jeans, you wear ankle socks. Jack Alvill, I remember vividly Jack Alvill calling out wearing ankle socks at one freeze. And ben Nubby loves long socks. Yeah, I love them. And Alex Cox, Sean, sure, over to you. Um, Next question is, has hashtag Piccolo drinking game ever gone too far? <laughs> this That's is a great funny question. question. Um, what's, a cra- what's your craziest Piccolo story? Piccolo drinking game uh, made me confess to doing anal in front of my mum. Really? Yeah. Why did you have to do it? You shouldn't have convinced. You shouldn't have admitted that. Who did you do anal with? You got to just think the hashtag game. Was it was the worst part about it you had to admit it to your mum about having it with your dad? Do you have to post it on Facebook? Hashtag Piccolo. <laughs> 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 Don't you think? Yeah, yeah shit. Yeah, so I, that's think that, I think I think the way it goes too fast is it shamelessly tries to get you to keep posting about the app. Yeah, um, I don't think there's one photo we got from of you. Sweeney and our loyal viewer Ben Narby having a selfie. I think that's probably the oh, best that was, thing that was that one. But I will also say that's gone that's too a far. funny. That's a good one. That's now. a great. That's a great photo though. All time great. Mm. Who was that? Who made that question? It was me. Who knows? Um, that was me that did yeah. it. Rank the Wiggles. This is from Maya Esperan. <laughs> Thank you, Maya Esperan. So you want to swing it? There's the no P. There's no P in um, the It's Rank the Wiggles. So, um, well, obviously, of the, the new ones, like last. Yeah. Of the old ones. Of the original ones. You probably have to go Jeff the first. The blue one? No, the blue one first. He's Anthony, the one he's before. Still, he's still there. He's like a good one. I think man. if you do him in total, I reckon I go yeah, Jeff first. Attack, Jeff so so he, No, that was No, if you want testicular cancer. Um, he goes Jeff, oh. Anthony, Greg, Murray, and Anthony then, then all the new ones. Why is Murray so low? The Where would you rank the woman? Murray. Yeah, he's the worst of the original ones. Who, he, oh no, is Murray the red one? Mm. Yeah, he's the worst one. He's the worst, man. I would go, I would go, I The original blue, um, Jeff, and then Jeff, did did purple. Which one had testicular cancer? Greg. He had to leave, didn't Probably he? Probably red. Yeah. I think red yeah. had testicular cancer. Dude, you know they're like billionaires? Yeah, they're big overseas. Probably. Like, yeah. like when I went to London, people were like, yeah, I watched in, in, like, in like the yeah. early 2000s, they were Australia's biggest like, export apart from mining. So, <laughs> so don't, don't believe it. Next question, <laughs> next question we got here is, why do anti-vaxxers exist? Not only Jackson, probably the hot take on this. Um, no, that's my question. I want to know. Oh, I don't shit. understand it. Well, it's... I think it's just because a few people are just skeptical of authority. A genuine that, distrust. You know? yeah. So if, you know, and, and sometimes that's like grounded in some form of reality, you know, if you're always like getting done over by the government or whatever, and the government's like, you gotta vaccinate your baby. You're like, like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. But yeah, you know. You should have the right though, you know, to say it. Um... There's a herd the, of you. The problem, you know. the problem, yeah, the problem with things like a pandemic, you need everyone to comply for it to work. No, I really don't. No, 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 no. Because if everyone's, if everyone else is, cheating, it's not good that you do. Yeah, you know, yeah, I agree. There's a herd immunity though, so if everyone else is vaccinated for it, you're not going to get it because you're not going to get it from anyone. Like polio, people aren't getting vaccinated for polio, and people aren't getting polio anymore that aren't getting vaccinated. So the anti-vaxxers are going, oh, no one's getting vaccinated. Then so my kid- next question here, number 24. Would you rather have a beer with Ty Lopez or Mike Chang from Six Pack Shortcuts? I actually do know Six Pack Shortcuts. <laughs> you don't know who Ty Lopez is. He's the guy that's like, hey, just in my uh, garage with all these books. You know that no, guy? No, I've seen that guy in my life. Gnarly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gnarly. Yeah, that guy. I'll never have a beer with. I'll probably go Mike Chang. I reckon Mike Chang. Who's Mike Chen? He's a six pack shortcut. He's got YouTube ads. You remember him? He was nah, a meme for a while. I, I reckon the knowledge. Like, does he look like he's a six pack? Knowledge. <laughs> I reckon Mike Chen. Knowledge. Because Ty Lopez has been exposed to some shady things. Shady, like what? Yes, you he runs like other paid employees. And that means he's excited. He like rented all the You know he rented the Ferrari? Or... Yeah, he rented yeah. all the Lamborghini. I mean, yeah, what would you do? He's so thrifty. Mike Chen or Ty Lopez? 20? Um, I take Ty Lopez. Yeah. He's got a lot of knowledge. He could teach He's me. He's got a lot of knowledge. He could teach me. And Mike Chen is probably six pack shortcuts. shortcuts. Yeah, exactly. Talk to Mike Chen for a little bit, and you'll rip. Yeah, that's a good point. Get you on a good diet yeah. plan. Probably help you with the weight cut. He's disappeared now, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's gone. So this is advice time. Um, how do I stop my mates Gio from coming on to me? This who's, is from Griffin Tuscari. Well, whose girlfriend's going on to Griffin? Do you reckon? I don't know. Um, that's a great question from Griffin. Um, how, how do you stop, stop it? Just can, um. You probably just message him or saying, "Die, hey, don't come cringe. That's a cringe. You know what? You know what I would actually say. It's probably you, if you went to the mate first, it probably may call more cause more issues. Depends how long they've been in a relationship for. If she's new, yeah, go straight to the mate and be like your girlfriend's. You know, I think if you start crazy. a beef with the girlfriend's dad, 
Would, if you start a beef, what if she have daddy issues, issues then? That you, just feels. You got to clarify. If you know the if you know the yeah. girlfriend well, you got to clarify what she's doing. You got to ask her first, I think. But if not, what a loaded she... question. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird question. I think this is happening to Griffin. Yeah. Whose girlfriend is it? Yeah, that's a new question. Who, who is it yours? Yeah. Is it yours? I don't think so. It might be. Oh, the long haul. It could be Sweeney's. Imagine messaging coming. That'd be sick. <laughs> that'd be, that'd so be next cool. question is, Sweeney, why are you a liberal? This is from Eden Blair. I just like the free market and that, really. So you're a lib No, just give him a minute. Give him a minute. No, well, I, just, I just think it is that fundamentally, you know, the market provides better give solutions than the government does. And even to the extent that the government will act as like a social safety net, it's probably better facilitated in doing such at the point where business is like, you know, free art and so far as it can generate more capital. Has the liberal media the, gone too far? Uh, well, no, but that's a different type of liberal. So you're endorsing Hillary American Clinton? Liberal. She's a liberal. No, 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 but that's the American, like, small L liberal I think, yeah, I think, I think the question's got the capital L. Yeah, yeah so it's a party. party. Yeah, no, no. I was, I was trying to, I was trying to think say broadly. Yeah. So, um, no, I just think, you know... Didn't you vote for Labour for your last election, though? Yeah, because I was in the, like, the safest Labour seat in the country. So you're not really I was in like, the most left wing Wait, you were part of the party, though. What would they do if they're I'm not part of the part party anymore. I got an email today being like, renew your membership. No, I couldn't part time. Yeah, there you go. Sorry. So, number 27, who is everyone's favourite Simpsons character? I like most is like, most is like, so awesome. Yeah, yeah, he's a bartender. I like Willie. Yeah, I like Universal. I like Apu. He's not allowed. No, he's not allowed. He's banned. Oh, but he was, wasn't he? Uh, he, he no, no, no. Why'd they ban him? Favorite Simpsons character. Right? Right? Ex Simpsons character. Yeah, because yeah. every joke was just. I reckon Ralph Simpson. Weird. Everyone loves Ralph. No, do you know I think Ralph Simpson. You know why they banned um a poo? Because he was voiced by a white dude. Was he? Oh, was he? Yeah. No, I don't know. Was it? Yeah. No, I think I did. He was too stereotypically racist. But because he was also voiced by a white dude, that's like more offensive. Yeah. I just want to say, as a first voice, you should. Sure, if you offered to voice Apu to bring him back, would you? Do you do your best? Do your Apu impression? I'm not racist anymore. But you're allowed to do it. Am I? Cooper, you do your best Apu impression then. Sure. Look, we'll give up. He's a character. I like Mole Man as well. Let's put that in. Mole Man's pretty good. I'm gonna put out Mole Man's really good. But um, uh, most is like, hmm? I don't know what his last name. When getting dressed, do you put on a sock then a shoe or a sock then? Oh, I get the question. Oh yeah. So when you put both you socks put on. Both socks on at one time. Um, Unless you're an idiot. Yeah, I do both socks at one time. Did it? Yeah, both socks. Yeah. Who asked that? What did uh, Jackson? Jackson definitely asked this. <laughs> Jackson, explain. What do you do? I do socks off. Jackson. Shoe. Jackson. Then why did you ask the question? Because I wanted to know what everyone did. I, 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 I think most people do two socks, two shoes. Smash that love react if you do two socks, two shoes. <laughs> yeah. you know? How many viewers do we got alone? Give the, give, the, give the podcast a bit of love. Yeah, we yeah. only got one care no, react. No, care react. Oh, who did that? So, uh, Tessa yeah, Fair uh, asks, when will Sweeney put his shoes on? That's later. That's later in the podcast. How does she know Sweeney's feet? Um, Keep looking out for Sweeney's feet, that. Tessa. I can't, I can't spoil the podcast. No, no questions until that time. They're all getting put in the back half. We lost two viewers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the chaos. That's the chaos of the podcast, isn't it? Yeah. That's the risk for you. That's really what it takes. Oh, we lost three more. <laughs> <laughs> so this question is from Anais Roberville. Do those who condemn homosexuals ultimately betray Jesus slash religion? This is a good one for you, Cooper. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a good question. They're probably. I think. I think. I think it's the way you approach it. If you're, if you're like, um, you know, that believing that those who are homosexual should be like, face really harsh punishment. But if you think, if you're coming from an angle that you think it's like, I think it's like if you like hate gay people, like you probably are. Like if you just hate them. Yeah, you truly if, hate. If them. Like but if you use gay marriage, yeah, it's like no, nah, because you see some people in your religion. Yeah, like some people like um, like were taught like taught us at school they were very catholic and they were yeah. obviously anti that stuff but they didn't really seem hateful and i don't think they would ever yeah. go out of their way to hurt i think it's the hate the it's the, i hate you, you know, the yeah person. i think i, I think you. so too i hate you they never, can i get a quick i hate you from this man i hate you there you go that's so yeah that's really dark isn't it mm. that's really dark um so the next question here is from oh, xavier mitchell thoughts on oh, in- instagram including oh, long oh, photos um, I think Xavier posted one of these photos. What do we think of that? Question? I think it's retarded. Oh, it's not a very good question. Well, I don't know what a monkey photo is. It's like you can make a really You can make it so like you have to scroll through the photo. Dumb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dumb. It's, it's annoying. Like, if you want to do that artistic shit on Instagram, you've got to be one of those people who like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They no, didn't even post seven uploads. Any... Like, you know, no, 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 no
no, yeah. no, no. There wasn't even any long photos. It was just the color spectrum. He's just asking oh, for the spam. Really. Oh, did, did anyone yeah, see any Yeah, I saw Xavier's post. It was I, just the color spectrum. I just had to scroll like way too much. What was it? The, the post. It was, it was just colors. colors. Yeah, exactly. There's, I don't think there have been any that are yeah, legitimate sure photos. Do you hate yeah. the rainbow? Maybe we could upload. I, I hate what represents. Do you expand on that reference? What does that stand for again? Rainbow. LGBT. Oh. You hate the oh, we'll that in the too next convenient time. there. Um, when's cricket coming back? Asked Xavier Douglas. Xavier Douglas. Douglas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Shout out to Xavier Douglas. Douglas. Uh, probably like when other sports do. They, they'll run the Australian summer of cricket normally. What does he mean come back? When did they ever leave? Well, uh, it's been like suspended during the COVID years. Oh, yeah. Sports are. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. <laughs> probably like September. I can't believe Xavier does with some podcast. I don't know if he does. I think he just had a question. It was on Instagram. Good, I'm so requiring. Say something about Xavier Douglas Smith. Hey, I'm glad you're watching the podcast. Yeah, dude, he was good. He was fucking good. Sick, yeah. Man, that guy made Year Nine camp sick. Yeah. It was all thanks to him. Did Holy he, shit! Oh, I was going to quote moments. Sorry, Xavier. Did he made it sick. Yeah, he's like, 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 he's uh, most useful trade and what's the least valuable? Ask Jack Hogan. Good question. I think the least valuable has got to be electric. You shut no, the fuck up. Electric you shut your mouth. Electric 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 electrician and plumber. 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 Electrician Oh, oh, that's that's sure. I agree with you. Who do you think makes that? Not an electrician. Who do you think commissions it? It's not a trade. Elon Musk is an engineer. It's an electrical engineer. Engineers make a phone case. No, they make a they can't tell a phone case. They can't do. They can't make anything. That's Sparky. An electrical engineer can't do anything without a Sparky. Sparky needs to sit down and do three a year. Probably five. Who knows more about electricity? Okay. Probably him. Okay. Okay, probably him. If but you, if I know the fundamentals of electricity. That's next to you. Yeah, you can't talk about it anymore. Uh, um, what's one. your biggest uh, post on Reddit, Cooper? Oh, what was your biggest oh, post I don't, this week? I didn't think I had a. I think my biggest, my, my biggest upload was a comment. That's cringe. Um, yeah, so that what was your biggest? No, I had. What was your biggest? I might just uh, the cricket post. It was saying like, yeah, uh, he won. Something talking about you know what's safer than using a condo. Yeah, what's safer than a condo? Is my, Michael Hussey in the gully. He stole it from, from Ben Harvey. Harvey. Yeah, lawyer viewer. Um, my biggest comment. I think was in r slash or I posted a dog that wasn't mine a mm. photo of it oh yeah I think I got 400 yeah mine was yeah. a scooby doo meme I stole off Instagram what was it it was um it was all the, it was all the renditions of scooby doo in chronological order and it was the meme where the guys clicking the button go back go back go back and we were like enter 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 and then go back oh no the this is it goes it's it. A, it was a photo of humongous and it said upvote me or I'll end it all that's on the that's on the carnal for carnal bro yeah, I went on that one, yeah. Uh, uh, do you choose heads or tails more often and why? Angus Greed. Angus Greed, a friend of the show. Friend of the show. Uh, Shit. heads or tails? I think I think you go tails, because there's the old mantra, just tail, tails. Tails never fails. Fun. And that kind of makes you pick it more often than not. Well, there's, there's a mantra for head, too. What is it? Probably, you know. Head, Cooper's mum gives it the best. Yeah, that's Shit. the mantra. Yeah. Shit. That's really it. What do you pick more? Uh, I always choose tails. Yeah, tails never does. How often are you asked to do a heads or tails? Not or much anymore. I yeah. think when I was younger, a lot more. In Italian class, you really get it a lot, don't you? Why? How do you say it? Fucking, they play, oh, heads or tails, but whatever the Italian words are for that. You don't know it? Around. You did Italian for five years and you don't know yeah, it. Yeah, of course. I can't remember fucking any. Oh, it's very much like from my idea and recessy. Yeah. No, it's not recess. that. Recess. Or Cheese or recess? Like. That's what you just said. You speak Bermondo, Italian, yeah. yeah. Do you? The only thing in the back end yeah. you come from Greece from Italy is to seek Euripides and pizza delivery. Shut up. Alright, <laughs> that's a ding. Um, Henry Cujo's. Henry Sejudo. 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 What did he retire from? I don't know. I think Olympic. Sudoku. I hope he didn't retire from being cringe because he's too good at that to stop. <laughs> no, nah, my boy Henry Cejudo, he retired from MMA, but he clearly didn't. He'll clearly be back. I think he'll. I think he'll wait a while because he's just got no other matchups Which to is, fight. Yeah, he's got no massive matchups except that Russian guy. He should have. I saw some. Oh, um, Khabib. 
No, he's not. I saw some, I saw some oh, Instagram post about the how he yeah, yeah, yeah. he said on the Air of Hawaii show. Like the he's, year ago, he's got no name. After he yeah. fought Moraes, is that his name? Moraes. He fought Moraes. He, Moraes. he was oh, like, Aldo. he's Aldo. like, Dana White, I'm going to retire for getting a bigger paycheck. Yeah, yeah. He should, yeah. He should go up and fight. I think mean, it's all for the pay. If he legitimately he's dodging, What he's doing is he's dodging the Shevchenko fight. And he's really got to do it. Nah, they can't They can't. commission that. I would really like to see him fight Volkanovski. That would be really fun. What do you think of that swing? I think he's Yeah. I'd love to see him fight Volkanovski. Volkanovski would kill him. He's 270 pounds. So, this is the next question. <laughs> Best form of transportation. This is from Alex Costa. Um, Probably car. What, we, what does that mean? Um, yeah, you guys are like, Car's lazy, though. Oh, yeah, mine's the most amazing. Yeah. But if you go on like, the local the local yeah, bottle shop, like most. we often do... You I've always enjoyed trains as a form of oh, transportation. Like trains, yeah. trains, are yeah. trains are really cool. The trains are more about the experience, not the not the efficiency of getting That's there. That's fucking deep, bro. You see flu Well, trains are super efficient in like Europe and stuff, if you're like there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, have you ever been to Europe? I haven't, but I'm just saying... I've been to Europe. If I went to Europe, the first thing I would have checked out is a train. You could go to a train to Sydney. You can go from Paris to London in a train. Are you serious? You've got to be kidding me. No, what I don't get is that so easily fact checkable. So why would you lie to I'm not. Do you actually not think that's true? No. Because there's water between the countries. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. What? You're an idiot. There's no Canning Bridge between fucking England and France. The old shout out to the Almighty Canning Bridge. <laughs> oh man, when was the last time you said I love you to your mom, sweetie? Ah, uh, oh, that's oh. a good question. Why? She, to be fair, she wasn't here on Mother's Day, so I didn't have any like. Just give us the. Oh, I don't know. Probably like Christmas or something. I, I, really? I, I, I think I said it before I came here. I probably didn't say it really? on Christmas. I'm what, what about like, you, like, like, um, six days ago when I had to put my dog down. Say it now. <laughs> Do you want me? I will. Wait, so you said I love you before you put your mind on I don't say it. Yeah, and then I injured you. Yeah. Probably like three years ago. If I'm you know what? I always I say it in jest. I don't really say it seriously. I'm like, oh, I love you. But I don't say like, I love you. I said it to my dad. I said it uh, to <laughs> you. We'll talk about it. How long all the time? My mum said goodnight the other night. <laughs> Shit. And uh, she said I love you and called me off guard. Mum always said... Oh, yeah. That's the worst. Well, I said I love you. No, we'll finish it. If it's like you don't have a response at Mum always says... Mum always says, God bless, love you. And I was like, okay. God, God bless. bless. That's really sweet. Saying, right? saying, That's uh, actually really sweet. Thank you for the Yeah, thanks God for that one. Um, what are some tips for standing up to a bully? Uh, well, sweetie, you should know about this. Yeah, sweetie, you got bullied hard. After your DP that we saw? No, I stood up to a bully the other day. Who was the bully? in my house. Harry Goodler, he was bullying me. He was really putting it on me. Really putting it on me. Yeah. Really putting it on me. And I, I went up to him, I said, I don't do that. <laughs> and he, I didn't see him again. So he, I, I, I took him on. What was he, what was he doing to bully you? Um, I can't remember, you know, it was just sort of heckling so me, this way, that way, the other way, call me gay, you know, he was, he was doing stuff, he was, he was he going after my family, yeah. absolutely not, he just, you know, <laughs> absolutely. I, I couldn't believe it, I think the way you face your bully is, what, the, a bully is only bullying because they themselves are insecure, yeah, yeah, if you point weird. out that insecurity to them, they're like, oh, I think the worst thing you do as a bully is react that, the way they want you to, doesn't yeah. that make you gotta make a bully? stance, so look, if I'm not playing a game, treat others how you want to be treated, so you point out his insecurity too, yeah, isn't that bullying, what insecurity you have to look at, but then you're the bully. Nah, I don't what, understand. What, what insecurity do you think your bully has? Um, no. I finished my Rubik's Cube. Or oh, go yeah, Jackson. Here you go, Jackson. Hold it up to Bring it up to the camera. The, the folks right. at home can right. see it. Right. 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 I'm losing a lot of time moving up to the camera, so but... Like... Oh, Are we swapping seating positions? Or... Nah, that's all right. I reckon I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Let's show it to the camera more. Turn it, turn it. I don't know how to. This um, segment's called Jackson finishes his Rubik's Cube. No, I'm definitely not going to finish it. Definitely not going to finish it. No, he's like 30 seconds, it. just real yeah. quick. I've um, seen done. I just don't even know this what to cringe. do now. This is straight I'm cringe. cringing right now. Um, Bro, this is straight cringe. Your hand is yeah. blocking the camera. Oh, you got the yellow side. Oh, no, you're yeah, he now. fucked it up. Bro, this yeah. is straight cringe right now. Should have posted just... this on Reddit, on the cringe side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I on the fucked it all up. One got removed? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty No, I've I, I, I learned people's TikToks now. Like, this is bullying. I was like, yeah, maybe. Well, I was like almost done and now I'm back. You still have time. To the back very still time to do still going, 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 going. <laughs> This segment lives on. That was awesome. Another high yeah. What's the next question? Uh, oh. Cooper's tinfoil hat. Cooper, you you peddle a conspiracy theory for this week. Okay. So um, last week, I actually ended, I think I mentioned the um, Avril Lavigne one. And I checked up on it um, after I mentioned it. And it was... During she got um quite famous early on with uh, Skater Boy, yeah, and she said uh, it was during her uh, parents' sure. divorce, and she um was struggling with the uh, demands of fame. So there was actually evidence of her having a body double named Melissa, 
and she even um there's references to melissa in her songs i believe and um eventually um the close friends were said she'd never be the same and then she they she cut off all con contact with them and a lot of people believe that uh, avril will be herself killed herself and melissa lived on and uh took on took on the role so yeah pretty crazy what do you think of that Sweeney? i i don't believe you have not it's probably it. fake it's You're probably fake. It's interesting it's interesting because you see photos and you see Why her bone structure has changed a lot and uh, she's taller because her parents are like, oh, well, we still got money. Boomer, here. you're on this next I'm question. Done. Okay, role play. Your mum walks in on your walks in on you masturbating. What are you doing? Let's go. Uh, Sweeney masturbating. Jackson's a mum that walks in. Three, two, one, go. Dinner's ready. Oh, um, I'm coming. I'm coming down for dinner. Coming, coming for dinner. Yeah, sure. The. It's ready. Yeah, yeah. Dinners. Yeah, yeah just give me a sec. Now. It's getting uh, cold. If, uh, that's something my mum actually does say shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be down outside. I just gotta have a shower. Gotta, you just had a shower 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, but if, you, you know, it wasn't. I didn't Why are you sweating? sweating? I'm sweating. not. It's because I need a shower. It's, you don't Why you alone? Don't raise your voice at me. Oh, yeah. Mom, come on. So You're gonna wake your father up. He's down there eating dinner. Asleep. He's eating dinner asleep. <laughs> that was the worst role play ever. Uh, Sweetie, why would you get rid of Jackson over everyone else? <laughs> oh, <laughs> who asked this? You're a mother. I think it was this one. This, this, this is Jackson. This is this was like that was off, off the cuff question in like week three or asked something. Asked by Angus yeah, Reeves. Thanks. Uh, the uh, you know, I think we resolved that I wouldn't. I think we resolved that I'm, you know, I'm more racist than people give me credit for. And I actually remove Sean. Mm. So Jackson retains, but why do I pick Jackson over everyone else? It's probably because, you know, Jackson walked in on me masturbating. <laughs> and I don't like the fact that he has that power over me and that he could he yeah. could spin that at any time he wants to on the podcast. You know, so I, so I think- Have you ever been called masturbating? No, not really. I've been close. Not really. I don't think, I think Connor thinks he's caught me like twice. But by the time he thinks he's called me a How about the time you were the baby coach and you were masturbating? In I, I'm just often naked in what my room. Once you walk in, he was like, oh, you're naked. You're like, why are you naked in your room? Why are you on the side of my room? Does he have a lock? Mm. Uh, next question. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, males who shave their legs and chest? What do we think? If you're a swimmer, I think that's quite normal. Um, Mainly. I guess you can if you want, but I, I couldn't even shave all my stuff. It would take too long. I think the issue with it is maintenance just, would be. We'll come back and it comes back and it's just prickly after you've done yeah. it. Yeah. But what are your thoughts on people who do do that? What are your, what are your thoughts on people who oh, do I'm not that? really against them. I don't know. Yeah, they're like, you can do what you want. Like, but I feel like it'd be hard to maintain. But some people are. I think it's less weird than like dyeing your hair. Dying your hair chest and legs. Like, no, no, dyeing your hair is pretty common nowadays. But it's more like. Attention seeker and more like but I'm you don't really to notice. notice. You don't really notice when people don't have hair on their chest. Exactly, that's what I mean. Oh, if you look in the men's but chest. people are doing it all the time. Know, if people are taking, that's what, exactly what I mean. People you shave your legs all the time. Yeah, no, time. you religiously you shave your legs. Your legs. You religiously do. You did. No, I did like you did. I remember you got a big twice. cut all the way up your leg, and I was like, how did you Yeah, the second that. time I did it, and I gave Why did you do it? Why were you shaving your legs? Oh, I was bored once. I don't know about that. Let's do that. Let's play next week. Next question, uh, mini game. Swenny, remove the bread. Can you get rid of that? Give him, give him a knife. Go. So don't uh, cut yourself, please. He's gonna remove the brim. No, don't put your hand. Yeah, you don't stick your fingers out. So if worst comes to worst, I'll just scratch it. Oh, he's doing a good job. Oh, he's actually got it. He's doing. I put a new cut. blade in so it today. To be fair, oh, mate, no, no cut to A bit of context for everyone. Yeah, just kick it out a little bit. Swenny's hat is a Yankee. New York Yankees hat. He's trying to get the no brim. And he's got a baseball cap. He's doing a very good job. Brim. Oh, he's stuck up a little bit there, but. I think we can still get it. Yeah, check it on, check it on. Show, show, like. show the folks at home. Show the folks at home. The Yankees are going to bring it on. That's that the is awesome. Awesome. I didn't think I could do it. I really didn't think I could do it, but I've done it. I've removed it. Like a German room. soldier. Uh, that was far easier than it had any right to be. I said we should give it up. It was. It wasn't. Did you feel like it was easier to cut than you thought? Yeah, yeah. Once I fucked up towards the end, I didn't think it would be that easy. I changed the blade today, so it was very close. That's why I'm not going to remove it. In public toilets, do you piss in the urinal or the toilet? Personally, I pee in the sink. It's from Christy Hitchman. I watch the people. Also, yeah. curse I've seen the Snapchat of you pissing in the bin, Cooper. You're a what bin? Um, I think you take the urinal in the public toilet. No one's going into the actual toilet. No, nah, I go to the toilet. Depends how busy it is. Depends, Depends how busy it is. If you're at a nightclub, then you don't go there because it's screwing the shit everywhere and piss all over the place. 
Have you got so the OB has to how hot the guy at the urinal is? Yeah, that's good. stand next to him. Yeah, there's too many people. I don't want to uh You know the OBH. Um I get stage fright. Only there. Yeah, yeah no, no, yeah. no, that no, because those toilets are disgusting. Yeah. Haven't you seen the Snapchat of someone there having sex in the toilet? Yeah, yeah that's good. Like, is yeah, it someone. Yeah, someone. Yeah. What? What'd yeah, you do? I do remember. What'd I you know do? what I did. I know, I walked in there and just started yelling at people. I guess I'd yell at my small cock. Griffin was yelling. Yeah, he always no, does Sean was yelling at Griffin as Griffin was walking into the toilet. And then as soon as Griffin walked in, Sean just kept yelling. So he walks in at side and goes, Griffin, I want you to lick my pussy. And okay. everyone just looks at him. Uh, next question. Sean's weekly movie review. Austin Powers. What's so your... I watched Austin Powers, um, the first one this week. Maybe if you liked it, we'll get into the next one. Um, overall, I think probably one of the best movies I've seen. It was actually a recommendation from Jackson. Um, Austin Powers is honestly one of the funniest and best movies I've seen. Although, even though Jackson shows me everyone loved it, the only everyone I've shown to hates it. So really? they've all been girls. Like oh Powell. yeah, no, girls hate Austin. I showed I showed Do they? Well, loyal view of the show girls Brown Brown and an age road and, and <laughs> Brown and Oscar on. and they all hated it. Or you know, also, overall, great movie. Out of out of the girls you listed, who do you like the most? I think it's an obvious that's pretty brown. That's pretty pretty obvious one, isn't oh, it? Oh really? Yeah. Really? Is I don't know, sure like any just, more than just review the movie, man. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. You're talking exactly. about the plot or anything. So, overall, um, pretty much... Do it, be honest, pal. Give us a four. Give us a four. Oh, what's going on, baby? Give us a four. Uh, eight. Okay, next question. Eight out of five. Uh, if you leave so any of to start a business, what would you do? Yeah. Who asked that the question? Legion was to start a business. Wait, us or the no, Legion? Legion? The fans. Can we call the Legion? It's the Legion. It's the Legion. It's the Legion. Um, oh, the legions know. of fans are. We didn't call them the legions. What legion, were they? The motherfuckers. Um, <laughs> the retards. Yeah. What would, yeah. What would, what would their business be? Um, is it, is probably, it'd probably be an unsuccessful business because I have about four employees. <laughs> look, 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 look. look. We got oh, the wait, can you check the numbers. We got the spark. Yeah, you got the human six. resource manager. Six. That's all right. Well, was, wait. Is the legions or us? Okay, first of all, paintings are the least valued trade by far. We're just no, we're not talking about this now. We're not talking about this now. If the fans were to start a business, well, you know, what would it be? Probably like a merch, merch store for yeah. us. Yeah. Probably a YouTube marketing agency. Obviously. Probably a retard development project. Yeah. What a terrible question. Yeah, it's a bad question. Is Who this wrote that? Jackson. Jackson. Probably, Jackson. Not Probably not Jackson. That was you, Jackson. Bad yeah. question. Probably not. Okay, uh, would you consider a half-time game of King's Cup? I feel like it would go Ooh. for more than a minute. Personally. Yeah, it would go for quite a long time. We could do it, but it would make the we podcast speed quite long. Run. No, we really speed minutes. Minutes. We're not doing it. It's four and a half minutes, I think. Yeah, we, we could shit. definitely do a game of King's Cup and record we'll it. We'll do it after the channel. We'll speed run the century. We might be able to continue. It's not a bad idea. It, it might be like, like Jackson's you can start one and then yeah. finish it post. Yeah, no, it might, no, it might be like Jackson's. If this really episode, if this week episode week gets six likes, we'll do a speed run of. Nah, so we're not doing a speed run. I want eight care reacts. Eight care reacts and we're on. Yeah, it'll right. be like Jackson's Rubik's Cure review. How like we do we do a bit of it each week. Uh, yeah, keep those. I think we could do it as a pre-game show and then post it. Cooper, we're about to lose our streak on Snapchat. Do you guys know the streak? I'm not trying to have Snapchat. sex with you when I'm in year ten, so I don't really care what our streak is. Hey, talk about the stupid. What's your shit question? <laughs> you consider half time. Yeah, this is Jackson's. This is Jackson's, Jackson's question Jackson. too. Yeah, a bit, hey, a bit of Kings. Jackson, John Ron Morgan actually. You didn't want to say it. Shout out to John Ron Morgan. Okay, okay, next question, Swinney. What's your fun fact oh, of the week? My fun fact of the week. Ah, uh, listen, it took until about like thirteen hundred, even later, for all of Eurasia to like you know sort of not unite, but at least have common you know communication with one another. Are you talking about the youth in Asia? That is uh that is you know the very Western Empire and the fact? very Eastern we- Empire. Oh, shit, no, I found out I that um fact. China knew about ancient Rome, like knew about the Roman Empire and and so the ancient Chinese Empire um no, sent an emissary to find Rome. Rome. I prefer and Jackson's they Jackson's kept they kept traversing and they got as far as like whatever the the country was, you know, in in Persia so bordering Rome. Um and then they got there and was trying to be like, take me to Rome. There's no punchline. Uh, but didn't understand like how to get there. You know, didn't want to pay a big, you know, sea toll to go to Egypt and sea throw toll. it. Seven uh, yeah. And yeah. and didn't sea understand toll. they were on the country <laughs> bordering it. So it was just like it must be miles away. What are you uh, fucking homophobic? So close. So okay. Close. Next question. Thanks for that. Uh, Half time and score update. Who was that question? Half time. That question. Who um, that squad was. Mate, you understand the half time? All right. Hard shot if we can. Oh, we don't have a hard shot. Yeah, how many hard shots? That's just a beer. Mm. Fucking. 
Beer here. Oh, Jack's here. got the points. Give me that hard. So my score, I'm going to be one, two, three, four. Like, I'm having a vodka. Six, seven, I've gone through nine cruises so far. That includes the pre yeah, show, which you guys have never seen. You get a bit too political. Um, for Cooper's gone through like probably a quarter of a bottle of vodka. Yeah. Jackson's gone through his patented like 200 mils of red wine. Take the. That's empty. Hmm? Alright, mate. I'm just saying, Sparky's don't do much. 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 I'll do it next time. Halfway, favorite, and favorite I've favorite. done nine and a half standards. My favorite trade's gonna be a painter. Painter's is sick. And there's no engineering. There's, there's, there's no engineering. There's no engineering. Fuck, that next question's really good. You're an idiot. And there's. Oh, here we are. The next question. Who's red? Oh, that's me. Uh, my brother <laughs> asked, how many minutes until Sweeney's top button? Kind of like <laughs> now, I think my top button's actually right, got one. The, look at the back of his face. Like, 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 the, the, the middle one, but the top one's still alright. It's like the thing in Titanic when it's like a great hand. It's slipping. So top button, I got a while, I got a while. So you see some bigger shirts. I already think the one near the belly is at more risk. Yeah, because like, you would like... Yeah, Sweeney doesn't put it in That chest shirt would be what, like medium? Uh... a large. I don't know, that's not a large. To answer your question, Connor, uh, the, bottom, the bottom the bottom buttons are way more. Oh, he's talking about the bottom buttons. No, oh. Next episode, the bottom buttons yeah. are way more likely to pop than the top. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, I agree. The bottom's gonna go I way the bottom. Yeah, drop, pop top. Is that is that a borrowed shirt or is that your own shirt, Sweeney? Ah, oh, this is my shirt. What size is it? I got it when I was small. God's I was strong. Man, next week yeah, we'll the weight size. loss challenge. You'll you'll see. It's a large. Oh, yeah. yeah, but I told you it was a large. Yeah, but the thing is, if it's, it's like a tight, if it's like a cotton on large, they usually have role play. Yeah. Sean, you are at the fast food restaurant, and the server calls you the N word under their breath. Am How I do you server? react? Right. Thanks for that one, Natalie. Oh, no, just, just go. Okay. okay. So I got many. Okay, I'll, I'll just wait for your uh, food, you stupid. Maybe. Um, yeah, I guess I'll wait. What'd you say? Sorry? Did you, didn't you say something? You heard me. You, I know you're kind. You come around here, you take your time. You act all chill and cool. You heard what I said, okay? Just hurry up. Would you repeat it though? Sorry? Would you repeat that? What, what? I said? What would you repeat again? it? Would you say it out loud? Or would you just say it? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Um, I, I guess so. Um, don't do any remorse for that? No, I hate your kind. Ah, oh. come on, man. Let's take our business elsewhere. Yeah, we didn't need you. Cancel my order. I want to refund. I didn't want to bake your gay wedding cake out anyway. Oh, our what God. wedding cake? Sorry. Our what wedding cake? Your oh. BT. <laughs> uh, how much pubic hair sentence. is too much? Um, I don't know. I don't know at what point it becomes too much. Can you shave your pubic hair? Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna shave mine for the weight cut next week. <laughs> You're like Johnny Henry. You're like to add so Johnny like Hendrick. Sweet, sweet Probably Hendrick. adding a couple of cool, uh, You reckon you're like Johnny Hendrick? Uh, I'm not like Jimmy Hendrick. Oh, Johnny Jimmy Hendrick. Hendrick. Uh, Jimmy Hendrick, he was good on guitar, but I don't play Look, him. I'm going to rank who has. No, the, who, I'm going to rank who I think has the longest pubic hair right now. I'll probably have to say Sweeney, me, and then probably Jackson Cooper. Yeah, well, me and Jackson Cooper. Oh, you have the lowest? Can we keep the I'll show you mine. That's what I would assume. Okay. Well, it's I have radically changed. Yeah, I'm very rarely. What do you shave? I shave with a just cut with scissors. Oh, I do occasionally. No. I, I do it with like a shaver, like a buzzer. I don't have a buzzer, I just have the single blade razor. I know someone who used to use a wet razor on their test. A wet razor? I tried, yeah. but I did try. Do you dispose of your batteries properly, Sean? God, no. You chuck it in the green way. The gr no, all I'm saying is the red bin or the green bin. That You should be able to put everything in there. Are you color blind? The red bin or the no, green bin? No, 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 no. Some people have green bins, the new ones are the red, the red small bins. But I think you should check anything in there. So yeah, batteries go in there. What bin do you reckon an electrician uses? Um, they don't use bins because um, they don't have to dispose of anything because they don't actually do any work. It's They're probably electrical eat engineers out there. Yeah. All those electrical engineers are doing all the work while these sparkies are going around. And they eat crayons in wires. school. And they yeah, they're just jumping crayons up their nose, going to brain surgeons, wasting their time. At least we're not as bad as painters. But... You said but. No, it doesn't no, matter no, what no, you no, say no. next. You just said but. All I'm saying is but. To get, to get, back, on, to get back onto the question. Um, no. Yeah, I what's don't your favourite type of battery shot? Definitely double A. <laughs> <laughs> that was Tri triple A batteries are pretty useless. It is. It's either double A or triple A. Do your Yankee with no broom impersonation. I don't really get it. I don't know what that means to be honest. I think I mean my okay. uh, who, if we were to transition, uh, who would be the best looking transgender female? Uh, Probably Shaw. Sure. Asks uh, Oscar Belshaw, an ex-friend of the show. <laughs> and also change seats. 
Are we saying anything? Not quite. No. Not quite. Uh, I think Sean. Sure. Because I think the, the, the smaller <laughs> you are, the more you can transition. Like, the, the more believable. I think I'm a happy medium, though. Nah. Oh, like girls can't be big Sean's girls. nose is a bit yeah, Girls can't be big girl. Yeah, no, but no, no, it's not. It's not the. It's not the size. It's more the scale of like the curves. When you're a big and you're a guy, you're very I'm square. The size in the whereas game. girls are more curved. See, but I'm curvy. Jackson got bigger. Who do you think? Who do you guys? Probably Jackson. Really? Jackson. I reckon Jackson. Jackson got bigger. I think Sean. Big ass transitions. Well, yeah. I would say me. What do you think? I reckon Sweetie. What do you think, Jackson? I think Jackson. I think Jackson. Okay. I, think Jackson. Okay. I think Jackson. I guess it's Jackson then. Yeah. Well done, Jackson. Thank you. That's, boy, that should be a challenge. We should have a transition for a win, too. It's almost believable. Yeah. That's, a bit, uh, that's a bit hardcore. Uh, who is your favourite WWE signature move? What is your favourite signature, signature move? Signature what is your favourite WWE signature moves? Asks Ben Clark and the Naz Roville. <laughs> um, they're, they're one and the same, so. What's, what, what's your. I would one? have to say the Batista bomb. I'm a big fan of Dave Batista. I love him to death. It's classic. Isn't uh, it? I, I didn't like when he turned evil, though. I really I like, like the um, Dars choke. That's my favourite. Angus, Angus Moyle's dust choke. Northbridge. The, 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 the boat constrictor of Northbridge. Northbridge. I like the Moyle choke. Yeah. I like the um, I like the sweet chin music. Sean Michaels, he kicks him up in the, in the right on the chin. What's the button. signature move where um, Jack Halverson punches Jackson? The halbo punch. Oh, the hal- I like yeah. the halbo punch. Uh, what I like the Walls of Jericho. The Walls of Jericho, yeah. 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 You know, everyone thought that was just strictly a WWE move. And then some guy in an amateur um, and they fight pulled it off somehow. And everyone was like, what the fuck? It was just tugging on the guy's legs. And I was like, oh, fuck. Apparently, he had like a back problem, but like, it fucking worked. What is the worst card to draw in King's Cup? Or I guess just the worst card. It says Cooper reacts to his. Not quite. Uh, what's the worst card in King's Cup? We'll okay. do that. Uh, Asks Angus Grieve. A friend so, of the show. I don't know what the worst one is. Probably, Probably four. Four, four it's a chance to redraw. No, we should be more than playing. Four's Queens. Yeah, it doesn't happen well, too much. But there's no really. Queens Queens. The worst card. No. Waterfall is a Waterfall's bad. Yeah, Waterfall sucks. But it's also good, you know, it, it gets the function of the I game reckon mode. never have I ever, because it's never good, because it's never with new people. It's always with people who've played before. Yeah, yeah that's an obvious one. It was, it was, it was, I, like, is boring. What about King? King sucks. King's King King's exciting. They make a rule. Yeah, they they make put a rule spot, actually, yeah. yeah. But even if not for the rule, King's still good because someone has to pour their drink in. Yeah. Like, Ty's got to pour his shit fucking water. Yeah, someone's always drink. drinking some stupid shit. Someone's always makes drinking it. some fucking. Yeah, I reckon two U and eight made it most underwhelming. They're not like this. Categories of the three yeah. main 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 shit. Three main. Um, role play. Cooper, you react to your son coming out. Okay, Jackson, you be the son. Okay. Hey, Dad. What is the son? There's, I've been going through a lot of changes lately. Oh, uh, well, it's normal someone your age going through going through changes. And I think I like men. Men. Yeah. Well, we all like men. I've we've got friends. Um, what in, what do you mean? Manly men. Men. Manly men. <laughs> oh, like like sports players. Yeah, I love sports. Men, Manly men. men. <laughs> I like cock. Dad. <laughs> like you. I like. I'm gay. Yeah. Oh. Oh well. Oh, well, I wasn't expected uh, to speak to hear this, but um, I, I never, I never really considered that. Do you before, accept me? Look, I'll be honest. It's, it's going to take some time to get used to the news, but ultimately, you're still my son, and I still love you. Okay, and I want you to know that. I love you too, and, Dad. And I'll try to. I'll try have a kiss on the lips. <laughs> Ah, uh, Cooper, up to you again. Why is this me What happened to your computer? You got one. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, no, my computer's a piece of shit. If anyone watches the show, I always um, break it. Many names. I've got like an Acer. What is it? Like an Acer. I've got like an Acer. It's like whatever you should download like LimeWire on. And um, I got home and it was under. I don't have a desk in my room. I usually have desk, but um, it was on my it was on my bed and I just jumped on my bed after a long day of a hard yakka and I just jumped on my computer while it was closed and I opened it back up and all the ink was. Ink was fucked. Just so what ink in a computer? <laughs> well, like, you know when a computer's fucked, like all the, the ink, ink like, yeah. the ink, yeah, the, the ink goes everywhere. Yeah, the yeah, printer yeah. is broken. Well, you mean the place the science? You, the printer <laughs> by you mean the liquid CD? Do you know what I mean though? The fucking yeah, the like, ink, the ink all over the screen. Yeah. Oh, you made Cooper. The ink. Cooper, what does LCD stand for? You wouldn't know. Yeah. You're a spy. You're like, oh, you're a spy. Oh, <laughs> Me, an electrical engineer, knows nah, that it's a liquid. We have some parlor entry proceedings. Hey, it doesn't matter. I want my broom with no Yankee. You guys are getting pretty gay at the moment. Well, next question. Uh, what do you think about fruit? Who, Who the fuck is Jackson? Uh, Christy Hitchman <laughs> asked, what do you think about fruit? Jackson, you got an opinion on fruit? What the fuck is that? Find me one person who doesn't like fruit. 
I think a lot of people don't like fruit. Nah. Oh, no. No, I'm going to put one. Who doesn't like fruit? Reese Anderson. Reese Anderson didn't like fruit back in school. I, but I like fruit. But uh, you like fruit. Everyone likes a fruit or, or likes like three fruit. But I think, you know, everyone likes every fruit. Oh, like, if you like all, all fruit, all fruit, all fruit. Like fig, fruit fig's I don't bad. Like. I like fig. Nah, figs is shit. I don't like all rock melon. Rock melon. Okay, man. That's Can't the fruit. Can't like. good. I reckon I would dislike more fruit. Maybe fruit. I'll tell you which ones I don't like. I like all fruit. Do you like honey juice? Do you like pineapple? No, I don't like pineapple. Honey juice rock melon. Honey juice rock melon. Yeah, that's awesome. I think I don't Honey juice not rock melon. Cantaloupe and honey juice are different. I don't know. One is not rock Everyone likes fruit, you know? Well, like, fruit's cool. Fruit's better than figs. Figs are terrible. Fruit's better than figs. All right, Sean, your questions now. What do you got? Um, So another, it's got a hashtag here, so that's pretty bad coming from Christian. Um, What's the worst thing about wet socks? Could be like that. Lift. I think the worst thing about wet socks is the fact that Christian had to get them to ask us this stupid fucking question. The worst thing about wet socks, that's all, the, the worst thing about wet socks is the fact that they're wet. I think that, like, that, that ruins the socks, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, the that's, that's, that's wet really the one bad thing about them. Yeah. What's the worst thing about being in the rain? You get wet. You get wet. I mean, what a fucking stupid question. What's the worst about wet you socks? You think pains do less than sparky. Nah, let's talk let's about let's answer about wet question. socks. Let's answer the question. No, let's try to think about it for Christian's mind. Right? The wet socks, probably, maybe... You, you definitely get it through your house like, when you when you step on them big, you know. Yeah, you yeah, definitely yeah, put on the wrong socks and had come in his socks and was like, "This sucks." Although I, 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 I couldn't an anecdote about Christian. Um, what's we, the worst we went to Levers. He only brought one pair of yeah, socks. Yeah, So I'm sure they were wet. What's the worst thing about wet socks? You can't hide them from your mum. Yeah. I have a sock. Um. So the next question from Sam Trotter is um. Best Galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy is exclusively a swingy question. Well, not exclusively. If we, we know no, other questions. Um, I don't know. Throwback Galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy 2 was always nice. I'm, I'm struggling to remember names. Could you play Super Mario, Mario Galaxy, Galaxy 2? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah Cooper really? couldn't play either the Super Mario Galaxy games because he got headaches during fucking dawn. <laughs> like a degenerate. I watched um, that Pokemon episode and had a seizure too. I'm very sensitive. To you're saying that because gone blind. Oregon. Um, Space Junk Galaxy, maybe, in the original game, was... Oh, uh, Gusty Garden. Hmm. Maybe Gusty Garden Galaxy was the best one. Do you think the the Polyamory exists like that. in the Pokemon world? That's... I mean, that's got nothing to do with Super Mario Galaxy, does it? Could you explain why you had a headache playing Super Mario Galaxy? I think I've just got one of those brains that are sensitive to those things, you know, like motion sickness, I get a lot. Could you can't I don't think you got roller coasters. He's not that what you're batting in space. space. Yeah, so the next question we got here is, um, what sort of stuff is popping up in your That's a good YouTube question. Recommended recently? That's, a good, That's a good question. What do you got? Uh, what have I been getting recently? I've actually been getting, I, I got, I recently got a lot of conspiracy theory stuff when I was looking at the Avril, Avril Lavigne story. Um, I also got a, a lot of like, um, epic fail videos too, because I was, I was trying to epic find an old fail. What are you getting in your YouTube recommendations at the moment? That's yeah, probably in 2003. I I was Googling, I was trying to find this particular video of some guy failing epically. Jackson, and then, you know, you I got a good one. Snake bite videos. Oh, oh Cardi Yeah, no, I've been, I've been oh, through that stage. Friend of the show. Yeah, Cardi Peas. Snake bite. Man, I've been through that You're stage. always one click away and it's a They're deep fun. rabbit hole. Yeah. Man, you's hours have been wasted. Mm. Look, I'll admit, I've been watching Hell's Kitchen for the past. Oh, that's a classic. Though. Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. You can't, really that's a spin There's at least one Gordon Ramsay in my record. Holy shit. I love that stuff, though. Um, So the next question we've got here is from um Griffin Descari. Griffin Descari. How many how many wheat picks do you do? I would like to go. I don't eat breakfast most of the time, but when I do eat wheat picks, it's usually a shit every like twelve. There's no way you can have twelve. Man, milk. live on the show, I'll like to give me some give me, a bowl, no give me a bowl of milk next week, I'll do twelve. Right now, you go right now. Royale, so you have you have shit, that would be a bad challenge. Who can do, do the most we'll wheat picks on wheat? That would be a good one. Can we fit this in? No, let's not do this. Every week? No, 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 not enough time. We can fit it in. We can incorporate it into a challenge. Oh sure, man. But um there's no way. I think it's twelve wheat picks. Wheat picks are really feeling. Do you get milk? Yeah. Infinite milk. Because we really think that's 12, just a marketing ploy by Wheat Picks. Nah. You're getting played by big business. I think most of yeah. you do is like, most of you do is like, look, 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 what I'll do. Look, what I'll do. How many would you have? If you're, like, you're not going for it, but if you're just having a regular day. Five. I remember four. when you came to my house and you had some weed. And yeah. you ate a whole packet of Wheat Picks? Yeah, yeah. That was just I was trying to prove it. And yeah. I struck yeah. different. But on a regular day, how many? Oh, okay. So, next question is from... Oh, wait, 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 no, it's not coming out. Should um, children... name is Roberville. Um, Who's should that? Children, um, ben Clark's girlfriend. <laughs> should children <laughs> under the age of 18 be allowed to transition? Cooper, I bet you have a good opinion on this. 
Oh, what, like, into a state? into what? I think no. Into state should they be able to evolve? Be, they shouldn't be allowed to leave their state. What would they be allowed to leave state? state? Oh, like, oh, no, not without a parent's consent. They're, 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 they're constant state of field. Yeah. Constant state of rejection. Look, if you're under 18, no, you should be allowed to leave. Twenty's on the chips. Twenty, what do you mean? You can't vote. You can't drink yeah, podcast or eat the chips. If you're not deemed responsible enough to be able to vote, or to be able to drink alcohol, you're not responsible enough to be able to make. But then they're sober. So, so they what, if they were, what, what, what if they were born that way? Huh? What if they were born that way? They had a feeling that they're supposed I mean, to be the other gender. Can, can fully comprehend that you were born that way. How does it feel at 18 without really hot swinging? Surely. You know. What if they're a dude? And you weren't, what if they're a dude that you're attracted to, and then you wanted to have sex with them? Yeah. I guess that's another time for that one. So, Ben Jackson asks. Shit bowling sucks. Anyone a risk? Um, it's a Sweeney. Um, anyone? Jackson, you're a risk of bowling. <laughs> um, Jackson, take the hat off for the fellows at home. Ben Ben Jackson's at risk of bowling. Too. Who's Ben Jackson? Ben. Is he one of your mates? Is he bold? Ben is the third best batter in the world. I think. Is he uh, all in the world? So what's Jackson. he ranked compared to you? Second, the first best. Well, I was about seventieth. Uh, you yeah. suck. That's not very good. I'm going to be the best going Asian to... debater in the world. Going bowling back... sucks. What do you think? Going back to the question, I'm actually bowling. People don't notice. Oh, I, just, it... I just put my hair in. Is Ben Jackson the better? You wear that do rag everywhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you can actually see, actually you can't really see it, but I do have a bold patch when I had straight hair. But um, yeah, I'm at risk of balding, and it sucks. It's not good. How old is Ben sucks. Jackson? Oh, like 26. Oh, so he's a bit older than you. Maybe I, think... I, I, I might be balding, but at least I'm not a cunt. Like who? Sorry, Ben Jackson. Oh, I guess we never know Ben Jackson. Um, how long until Apple makes biologically integrated products? Oh, that's a good question. Look, I was like to say, as a big Apple fan myself, I'd like to say never. Apple is so the into eye tooth. I think they I think play music straight into the skull. Cool. Straight into I think our uh, Elon Musk company will be the first to do it. Neuralink. They seem, they, now, yeah. probably the boring company I reckon will do it. No, no, they, they, no, no Neuralink is... No, Neural, Neuralink's a different No, thing. Neuralink specializes yeah. in that idea, though. In, like, in, like, integrate... And firstly, they're trying to integrate, um, like, things in the head that will... Yeah, Prediction, the first time. thing that's going to happen is they're going to pull your teeth out and replace it with, like, implants. And the implants are going to play music. That's the first thing that's going to happen. Yeah, I think... I think what... Yeah, I think what... I think what... You know the toothbrush? No, no, no. But yeah, have you seen those toothbrushes that play like the Apple Levine songs when you're brushing? No, you need yeah. Alyssa songs. Apple yeah, Levine's dead. That's a good point. No, um, Elon Musk thinks it will, which is probably the most um, foreseeable thing, is there will be implants in the head to stop um, like brain diseases like MS and stuff. Oh, you know what it's, it's all um, about the connection to Number 68. Yeah. What would be funnier than doing surgery on other than a great No, well, I can think of one, I can think of one thing. I can think of one thing. I reckon if um, a scientist turned himself into a pickle. Yeah. That'd be that the funniest shit I've ever seen. Yeah. I'm waiting on the day. I, see I can't believe it. I've seen I've seen it in fiction, but... Sweeney. Imagine if they what did be, What would be funnier than doing um, a surgery on a grape? Funnier than that. Pickle rip. That's oh, what I said. <laughs> Imagine shit. doing surgery on that pickle. I'd yeah. be funniest shit I've seen. Yeah. Imagine, yeah. Holy shit. Do you um, best pickle rip impression? Morty, Morty, I turned myself into a pickle, Morty. I'm, I'm pickle rigging. That's pretty good. That's shit. That You're pretty good at the pickle rigging, bro. Yeah, right. That's a good one. I'm sure the fans will like that one. Gee. That's one for the fans. Who asked this question? Oh, no time. Um, this is from Nat Edwards. Um, five good rankings out of McDonald's, KFC, Harry Jack, Subway. I can do rapid fire. Yep, could go. Yeah, I'm going to go McDa- <laughs> McDonald's, KFC, Oh, oh man. Subway, oh, Red Rooster, yeah. Domino's. I reckon McDonald's, Subway, Red Rooster, Hungry Jacks, KFC, Wait, Domino's. You're an idiot! I missed you! Uh, Red Rooster, KFC, <laughs> McDonald's, Subway, Domino's, Hungry Jacks. Hungry Jacks KFC, stuff. Chicken Treat, not in there, but shout out. Red Rooster, McDonald's, Hungry Jacks, uh, Domino's. I'd like to say chicken treat over McDonald's. There's no chicken treat there. Yeah, but he said shout out, special shout out. Chicken treat over. How Hi, chicken you know what I'm saying? That's the worst one. The least the porto, the porto, porto. Yeah, that's the worst one. That's the post show. That's the post show. Fuck you. That's the post show question. Hungry Jacks is the worst fast food. It's really bad. Hungry nah. Jacks is cool. They microwave all their shit, but I'm not going to do that. To the subway. Um, is Elon Musk overrated? Um, sweet. What do you think? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. He gets kind of deified a bit, man. It's kind of like, ah. Uh, 
like. Well, I think, I think I think anyone who's who's like a front runner for those type of things he's doing do get terrified. Yeah, right? yeah because yeah. they're literally on the. Edge. I, I think it's also that he does that, but he also engages with like weird memes, like yeah. wacky, and a few people like, oh shit, well the best, but it's kind of like yeah, he plays people with like how he like yeah, talks yeah. about. He's, things. But nothing against him, but he's overrated for sure. I don't think he's overrated. Nah, I think what he's, he's doing the only person that's really doing stuff for things though. Oh yeah, no SpaceX is insane. Yeah, no SpaceX is like there's big meme value to what he's doing. Yeah. But he's the only one doing it. So, like, there's nothing... Like, I can't think of anything similar to what he's doing. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah. like, and that is... He's, he is the new Nikola Tesla. Well, who else? Who else is operating on, like, the scale of progress that Elon Musk is I think people... Like, exactly. Say he's operating on such a scale of progress or... I mean, he's a massive lead. Bitch, shut yeah, the fuck up. Okay. Green. Sweeney Green? Jackson no. Green. Jackson. Um, do you uh, indicate off... Roundabouts. Could be. This is a question for you. You recently got your license. Yeah. Um, I did up until Monday when I <laughs> passed my driver's test. Now I never do it. Shit. Um, no, I think indicating off roundabouts is probably is, it's an insane safety hazard if you don't indicate off roundabouts. Yeah. And I despise people who don't indicate off roundabouts. I do it. I indicate off roundabouts. Wait, do you mean indicate like at all the roundabouts or off? No, no off. Like, off. Like, so, like, no, 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 okay, so indicate off a roundabout is when you're exiting the roundabout yeah. and indicate left. Yeah, so like you're yeah, turning yeah, yeah. right and you, you've got your indicator yeah, off right. left and you're going back. You know, I was doing no, that. So say you're going left and yeah. then you... No one really yeah. does. I don't think it is the most important. No, the most important thing is if you're going back around the whole roundabout. No, that, no, that and could you get, be you get right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I agree right. with that. Yeah, then, when you're right. When you're when going you're right, right, right you, you got to indicate out. Yeah, right. Yeah, you right. Or, or if you're on a whole loop. It's the same whole thing. Loop that's, the yeah. that's the difference. Yeah. All right. Um, do we prefer vague topics or narrow topics? Ask Joseph Ruff. Finally. I think um I think it's more about the uh the topic subject matter. Is, is, yeah. is it fresh? Is it new? Is it going to provoke conversation? I think you vague or narrow. Though. I'm happy with. I that. think you you do like having occasionally like a big deep dive, like a really specific thing on one subject. But you also just like a sort of like what do you think of whatever, and then you yeah. evolve. Look, I just want to make a quick. P- a, it, I just want to make a quick PSA, especially against you, Griffin. Stop asking us what our favorite beer is. Just watch actually one of the episodes, and you'll figure out what our favorite beer is. Sean, yeah. what is your favorite beer? Cotton Dry. Cotton Dry is the only good beer ever. Don't answer it. All right. So, no, I, I think we probably, I mean, if, if you had to pick one, probably vague. narrow topics. Oh, really? I have to say vague. No, vague ones are more just like, but vague, just what's your favorite vague. beer? But, but, but narrow is more like, explain why, you know, certain beer is good. Or, or you could even say narrow is like, what's better, this or this, or what would you Yeah. yeah. Where well, you have to pick within a limited range, whereas vague is just kind of like, here's a broad subject. Yeah. You know, but, I think narrow is a bit better, personally. Yeah. So uh, soft or hard tacos? Oh, asks Griffin Shastari. Hard tacos. Yeah. Having a taco. I think I hard. think hard tacos definitely taste better, but soft are easier. Soft are easier. But if I wanted soft, really. soft, really. 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 to have a soft taco, I just have a burrito. Exactly. You know? Um. So it's hard. Tacos. No, I always say soft tacos. Are just if you have soft tacos, I hardly think you're even having a taco. Look, you have to chill all the time. You're just having a burrito. Whereas you, you haven't been bothered to like. When you have like meat and shit in burritos, pretty much. Yeah, no, you'd have to go with hard tacos, but they can be they can be really annoying. What's the good though? Like, the best of the stand and stuffed ones. Look, all I'm saying is, as long as your meat has the elder pasto taco mix, the little seasoning it has with it, that's all that matters. Yeah. And then if you put that with any, how often do you have tacos? Ah, uh, Mum normally makes tacos. Do you only know how to make? Ask me. How often do you make tacos? Every Tuesday, baby. Oh, taco no, Tuesday. Taco, taco Tuesday. Tuesday. What's your big taco filling? What do you mean? I like beans. Mate, you can't say that. The more James will copyright us. Yeah. A oh. mini game. If you were a Looney Tunes character, uh, what? Uh, how would you react if you saw a hot chick? That's made? pretty funny. Okay, go, go, Jackson. Auga. Whoa! Shit, you pierced on mine. You have to make that last for the rest oh, of the minute. Whose was the best? Who's the gonna vote? Um, I like Cooper's. Jackson did the best. Like well, Cooper, Cooper, just, did, was your Cooper just did a Looney Tunes impression, but I don't think that's a hot chicky babe impression. No, but he's like, whoa, can't believe it. No, because their face naughty. Because their eyesight gets stuck, and that's why they have to shake it out. Look, so I'm sure Sweeney will post a poll on their Facebook page. Um, Facebook dot Century. Facebook. The folks at home, please comment podcast. about your favorite um, impression. We'll, we'll post a poll. Who who can get the best impression? <laughs> Um, get on to that swing and make a poll. We'll do, we'll do. Oh, oh, we'll be. Interesting, um, question. Who has the hottest sister? Ask Griffin Triscari. I'll start, Sweeney. Sister's so hot. Definitely not me. Sorry. 
It's Sean. Your your sister looks like you. So I reckon you. Oh, thank you. Thank so, you. Cooper, you've I'll got the... I'll I've you. got the most sisters, but, you know, low battery. You never my sister. Cooper, you've got the sister. LGBT. Cooking. Yeah, oh, maybe. Yeah, the yeah, lesbian yeah, appeal. Yeah. Sure, that with their kid. I think, I think yeah. you're always kicking over a I think, kid. I think both your sisters... Sean, wasn't your, pre- wasn't your sister pregnant for a while? Yeah, she had two she, 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 I think I think both of your sisters are both subject to um that that question. So it's probably between. I need to do it. Sweeney, the baby between yourself. Sweeney will make us hold. Who is the better sister? Sweeney, make a case to Jackson why your sister's hotter than his sister. I probably won't do that. Um, <laughs> Jackson, you're just saying that because you got no brim. Who wants? I got no brim. I got the brim right here. Who? I got the brim with no Yankee. That was all good question. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. Greta, Thunberg. Greta Thunberg. Cooper, I believe you have a stage. You've got the stage of the ton, you're a ton. <laughs> um, Greta Thunberg. I don't really I don't really know much about her. There were people who were um, She's people were mad recently because she was on like the expert panel for CNN for like um coronavirus. Well, what she the expert in being an idiot? <laughs> I don't know. Sweetie, I bet you have a hot take on this. No, nah, I don't really. Um, I don't really like to say bad things about Cooper, you were saying something about Greta Thunberg being sexually active earlier? What was that? I don't think so. How old Could is you she? call her a virgin and then proceed to... Maybe sexually active for Sweeney, not for me. Mm. What is she, 15? If that, yeah. Look, she's, I think she's... I think she has to be stupid, though. She's never gone to school. Look, all I'm saying she's is... She's like loud, bro. All I'm saying is, I think she's got a great message. I think she's a bit autistic. <laughs> I can't... Yeah, she is. Oh, oh, oh really? Yeah. You can't say that. Yeah. Let's me cut that. How dare you <laughs> cut that? Let's <laughs> cut that. How hey, dare you? That'll be cutting post. That's my uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um Do you guys really see your fan base ever growing? No. I'll start with this one. No. God no. Um, if you if you're actually watching this live, you're probably a part of our fan base or what's continuing going on. Um you're but the anyone who isn't watching this live, you're probably never gonna see this. We're up to seven, by the way. I think if we I think if we um viewers. That's pretty good. I think if we legitimately seven, try seven to make like years. clips and try to promote it. We could get it to like 2,000 people one. every episode, but not beyond that. Thousands. I think, why don't we need... If we really try... We need to invest 2, in like mics, mics yeah. and effort and... Metallic yeah. mic. We've only got, we've only got what, 92 <laughs> yeah. episodes left. Yeah, we've still got a few episodes you know, left. You never don't tell me... And you, you know what? It's, one, not, it's, hard, it's not really hard, hard to grow from like eight. You just need yeah. one clip in, one lucky clip from we've the gods. Look, but all I'm saying is, if this, if this video, if this video gets more than 14 likes, we'll do another 20 episodes <laughs> on top of the additional 100. <laughs> That's ambitious, mate. That's That's really not. Guys, we're back, we're back, tight. the Centurion's back, I don't know what happened, uh, you know, some sort of uh, audio technical, technical account. We got hacked what a by our YouTube Anyways, uh, Anyway, the Centurion goes on in 78, who would win an eating competition after not eating for two days, asks Annie Brown. What do you think? Felt time. Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, I think, um, I-, I reckon I could do it. Nah, you're shit. You do think you can eat 12 wheat bix though? I know, I will do that, and I'll do that. Uh, that'll be in ne- included in next week's podcast, actually. Um, <laughs> probably, it'll be me or Jackson, I reckon. We have the biggest mouth, and you shove the most in our mouth. No, nah, I think you're last. No, I'm not I think it was last. Jackson, nah. Sweeney, me, you. No, nah, you don't eat Sweeney getting more than you, man. Nah, I can't eat that much in one sitting. I can no. eat quite a bit. Depends if they're chips or not. <laughs> and I can eat a lot of chips. I Depends if they're chips and like, underage. Like crisps, I can eat a lot of Yeah, they're underage. You can do it. Uh, and it's me either way. But like, as you mentioned earlier, Sean, after two days, your stomach actually starts to shrink a bit. Yeah. So when did like, you mention that? I don't remember that. So your stomach starts to shrink after like probably three days. So I think... It says two days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your, no, stomach, no, your, your stomach starts to shrink after you grow up in Sri Lanka. Jeez. <laughs> that is shit. Just shit. Through. Next question. Uh, what happened at the 33 minute mark in century number five? Asks Jack Prendergast. Suck a dick, Jack. None of your business. Um, I don't understand what you mean. 33 minutes in century number... I mean, I can look it up if you want. But what you should do is head over to the Centurion channel, subscribe on YouTube, get onto it and click... Uh, you know, we've always got the markers there. And then uh, you'll see what happens. Leave, a, com- leave a comment of what you think it is and then go look at it. Explain to the folks at home who Jack Prendeville is. Jack Prendeville, sure, uh, he's shot? his guy. He once oh, came to our um, pre, he just shot. rocked up. And he was demanding yeah. to play a game of beer pong, uh, being like, I'm the best beer pong player. So me and, me and Cooper take Jack Prendeville and some other, you know, chief on. 
and just destroy it. Like, absolutely. Was, was, I don't understand. remember. Was he the guy that kept pointing at himself and saying, Legend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kept calling himself yeah, the Legend. He was a real, he was a real he jerk. He kept calling himself uh, the Kobe Bryant of beer pong. Yeah. When he and died. Geez, pretty yeah. soon after, too. Disgrace. I couldn't believe it. Like, when did Jack die? Is Jack dead? Uh, uh, let's go on to the next question. Not quite. Next question. Do you believe in environmental determinism? Jackson, what do you think about environmental determinism? Um, I'd have to disagree just because of the way my parents brought me up personally yeah, interesting but, look it's more of like Cooper, a, your thoughts i'm still unsure of the exact meaning of that but um it's that civilizations and people's the product of the environment they were in the natural landscape you missed so, the parts when you well, um, i think, you I think, I think depending, the the depending the environment you're in you have benefits based off that so like even in a fundamental sense if you're brought up on a plot of land that's like more fertile to growing crops then yes, you are more likely to be successful. Do you think that people overall, you know, are also more successful? Do you think having chickens, you know, in your hemisphere, say, like, benefit you as a, as a civilization? What hemisphere doesn't have chickens? Uh, well, the east, the western hemisphere, I suppose, didn't. Didn't? Uh, I thought we were talking about Well, you yeah. could transport chickens. Well, the the western hemisphere couldn't. There wasn't really galleys and stuff to do such. Well, yeah, uh, Next question. When is uh, doing nothing better than action? That's by uh, Amos Robberville. And Ben Clark. And Ben Clark. <laughs> um, fucked up. Probably when you're in a relationship between the two oh. of the question askers. Oh. Thanks, Ben Clark. Let's talk about their relationship more. What is nah, nah, let's answer. Let's answer the question. I suppose. Wait, what uh, what do you think? Nothing. Better than action. Probably like if you were in an airport and someone was like, "Let's let's kill everyone," and you were like, "No." I guess if you're a father, you mean to be unstable. You're going to beat your child. Probably doing nothing in that. Case. No, I don't really. Better than actioning what you're thinking. Hmm. That's that really hmm. makes you think, doesn't it? I mean, it's it's doing nothing better than action. Nothing. When if someone says the action is to kill yourself, doing nothing is probably better. Not depends who it is. If it's yeah. a nice rock bill, I think she should take. What if Hitler? <laughs> it's live. <laughs> it's live on national TV. Uh, next question. Uh, why do you all have backwards hat on? Oh, this is bloody, this bloody hooligan again. Mate, Jack, Jack hates his it. podcast. Like, What's with this guy? Jack, why do you have a problem with me, okay? I'm balding. We get it, man. Why are you... Yeah, you really dig into you Jack Prenner, why do you have backwards... It's because, you know, it's a bit of a style, which is probably saying he wouldn't understand, right? Um, he just wanted to look good, you know? Uh, no one ever said that we should all wear backwards hats. We was rocked up for episode one, episode two, three, the... wearing backwards hats. An unspoken rule, yeah, really. Yeah, he just was, you know, like... Why are you not wearing a backwards hat, you coward? Dude, when I saw Jack Prenderville last, he was wearing a fluorescent short and like those like cotton on t-shirts with like the, the, the pocket. You cannot be serious right now. Yeah. And Holy I was like, shit. what's his what's his problem with backwards? And you know hats? what you know what he said to me? He was like, I'd rather never use electricity again than use my pockets. Why the fuck was you an electrician in the first place though? I saw Jack Prenderville at a LGBT parade going against Oh, uh, next question. You ever read an audio book? What do you mean read an audio book? What do you mean by you that? You ever heard an audio yeah, book? Listen, listen to an audio book. I'm not eating an audio book. No. I'm, I'm uh, fine that uh, I don't mind audio books. I think they're good. You think it's, it's, an audio book's kind of just fundamentally the same as a podcast. Podcast. Really. Yeah. Anything you have a podcast on for, you could have an audio book on for. I'm not saying one's better or worse. Podcasts are probably more relaxed. Uh, which is probably better when you're like doing something else. Just saying we should That's pretty rich coming from a guy who's pissed himself. Man. <laughs> so out of all of us, who do you think should write a book? Who do you think should write a who book? Would have the most interesting book? Who would have the most interesting book? I don't know, I don't would say that. Cooper. I can't imagine a single one of us writing an interesting book. Cooper, uh, Cooper problem. Jackson Grammarly is Grammarly. Jackson is Grammarly. Shout out to Grammarly. Shout out to Grammarly. I don't, okay. Grammarly. Shout out to I don't know where to put commas in a sentence. Cooper probably Cooper. has the most interesting story. I've had to write short stories in my degree. Shut the fuck up. Who else? Uh, That's what you get next week. You read a short story. Jackson, that would be funny. Or you would love a monologue. A monologue. A monologue would be good. Okay, next question. Uh, will we ever add a female member to the podcast? That's by our Riley Hughes, friend of the show. Yeah, what, we would do that you? over my cold dead body. No, is what, there what a, female could replace is there a fe- Is there a female wig? I don't know. No if one could replace the boys. If yeah. there's a female wig, I reckon we could replace Sweeney with Claire Hughes. I reckon that would be good. Is fine, there a female? Like, you know, who's who's, team, who's like the best female month? question asker that we have, Jackson? Look, the show think? does need a little bit of sex appeal. I'm Six cells, doesn't it? Who's our best female question asked? Eight cells, I don't know. My 
I can't answer that. Legally. Christy Hitchman. Maddie Carroll for mine, probably is the best one. Andy Maddie Brown, Carroll shout and out. Probably the best. The best two questions. We've had three girls to ask questions. Those no, no, we got millions of viewers. <laughs> Can we mute some if I answer something? Your you? girlfriend's uh, asking you questions. She has pretty good questions. Uh, yeah. Jenny, you gotta put your girlfriend on. She has bad so questions. So I could. Uh, I didn't consent to keep his girlfriend. Uh, uh, next, next question. Uh, can Indian say the N word? Uh, I say I don't think so. But what look, well, look at me. Um, all I'm saying is I'm not Indian. I'm Sri Lankan. I was Australian, but yeah, we don't care about that. Um, but whenever I go to the OBH, all the brown fellas are always telling me to say the N-word and then calling me the N-word. Third time. And I believe they're calling me the N-word. And look, I don't want to back my apology, but I'm still kind of not racist. I'm a little bird. I was even racist later on. But, um, look, I say... Have you ever given out N-word passes as an Indian? As a racist Indian, yes. But as the non-racist Indian I am now... Do they use it? Yeah. Gee. Yeah, they use it. Um, and they still, the annoying thing is they still do not have it even after oh, they probably still use it now. Yeah, they still use it to that's this the, day. The... So I'm sorry what I've done to the N-word. I may have spread it more than I should have. But as... You probably spread it considerably. Actually, I took away my apology, so I sometimes it just takes It's not even person. your word to give, really. Sometimes it just takes one person to approve. Look, it haunts me every night, and, um... That's a deep, Okay, next question. What's the best Minecraft food? Man, those those look when you kill a sheep and get mutton, mutton looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah mutton, mutton, mutton is mutton lamb. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, lamb. Yeah, 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 sheep. Kill a sheep, mutton lamb. Chops. You know what's really convenient? At chops. the start of the game, when you come across those cherry bushes, and you just oh, the little berries. Yeah, but you get like six and you walk of them. into it, you spot. No, but you get like every time you hit them, you get like six of them. And they can last you a long time. No, but they don't kill you. Right. They're poison. No, no, but once you mine them, they don't poison you. you no, you can harvest them, but you can yeah. get the bush around. Cooper's walks in the spiky bush and gets pricked. Uh, but, um. Golden apple, obviously that's the, uh. Yeah, but you can't eat golden apple in real life. What's the best mine? Oh, to food? eat. Yeah, oh, yeah. In real life. I assume in real life. Beef, probably. Or like probably the, yeah, the, 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 the mutton chop. Mutton chop, surely. Yeah, the chicken, good. chicken's good. Roast chicken. Chicken's good. Yeah, what do you think, Swinny? Best Minecraft food. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Oh, the cake looks very good. Yeah, the cake's very good. The cake's very good. The cake's alive. Cake's alive. Okay, okay. Yeah. next question. Youngest and oldest age, you would smash someone. I don't really know what that means. So like, the youngest and oldest, I'll start with this one. So probably the oldest would be, probably like, see, I'm 21, so probably like 23, probably two years above me. As in four? I'd probably like, never no, beat no, no, up like someone have who's have over 50 years old. Like unless years. they were really committing an atrocious act. I assume smash would mean have sex. The youngest would be infinite. Infinite. Right. In, the youngest would be an infant. They're... <laughs> That's pretty fucked up. Youngest... Probably 19. 19? Not even 18? Oldest... 29. What about if a 30 year old came up to you and was like, Hey Jackson, I want to have sex and smash. 39. Mm. Okay. I don't know if it was Gal Gadot and Superman flew up to you and said, What if it was Gal Gadot but she was five years old? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, next Gal question. Uh, <laughs> why doesn't Sweeney buy bigger shirts? That's I have like, a great question. Right this is a test effect. Great question. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Glad I'm not weight cut. I've just been waiting for <laughs> a weight cut. I've been putting on weight since this podcast started, knowing that one, one episode would be, you know, weight cut. So I'm going to take off, you know, 40 kilos this week. Sweet, let's ask the question the fans have all been asking. I think we might have to replace you. Have you worn the same shirt since you were skinny? Or have you changed your yeah, yeah, shirts? Yeah, yeah. I have a few shirts that I still What shirts have you bought recently since your... Um, I, most, of my wardrobe, most of my wardrobe now has been replaced um, from when I was in like year 12. I think of, that was always... Is it because of the weight or the style? What got you? Uh, kind of all. <laughs> Mainly weight. Obviously. Not the style. You never care about style. Clearly not the style. No, not style. Weight and like wear, I suppose. When did you when did you think of adopting the Yankee with no brim? Uh, just sort of since I've been since I've been stylish. You need to draw yeah, a sure. If women if women make seventy seven cents, why don't they speak any of it? Gee. Uh, wait, 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 if women make up seventy cents, oh shit. Why do they speak any of it? Um, you know what? I think everyone has something to say, and um, also everyone has nothing to say at the same time. Oh wait, you wrote that question, Sean? Probably because they don't listen to me. Gee. Oh man, this is like taking a hard shot. It's a bit better. If I yak on your floor, it's not like my fault. What do you think of the wage gaps? 
Um, I, I, I wish we could have mended it, you know? I agree. This, this is the first time I've drunk red wine like that. Why, why don't we a uh, war mend it? Yeah. I mean, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll give it to you. Sure. Oh, I don't think so. Am I red? I wish we could rectify it. Does red me? You know? Uh, no, not quite. I think red's me. Is no, red right. is Next question. If you were to start a Centurion Only Fans, I think you'd be fans only. What would uh, the reward tiers be? That's by Riley Hughes. That's actually a good question. We'll ask that before the show. Fans. The uh, what uh, we were thinking of maybe uploading um an uncut version of the podcast to um mm. Patreon without our uh, Sweeney's no, I can't do that. censorship, which would which uh, which would I think would be a fair. I'm amazed Sweeney didn't cut himself while cutting the hat. Yeah, because yes. you, you helped him. That's he was, a miracle. He was it going so towards nah, his leg. I was fine. Um, no, well, let's get back on the question here. Um, yeah, I think I think maybe uncut versions of podcast, uncensored, maybe pre-game shows, post would be additional content. Uh, maybe I don't know. Us playing uh, King's Cup. What do you think? You get you get priority in the the question queue. We well, always we always have, have a lot of questions. We get thousands of questions. So plus questions. And only about hundred getting. So if we had only thousands, yeah. I don't look. I can't even check them. That's how many questions we get. So, um, you, I mean, if you if you were to pay, you are probably always get in. Uh, next topic. I think it's um, me. Don't Jackson punches Sean. Okay. Oh, uh, well, that's just got on me again, hasn't it? I have done this to myself. Look, um, if I describe, I think Jackson hit me in probably the least efficient spot. I think ah, no, no, not quite. No, it, it, it wasn't. It was the second one, one hurt. Yeah, you know, I actually think Sean second, probably gets to punch Jackson. Is that a soul? We'll, I, I think Sean gets one back. We'll see, no, we'll see. We'll, we'll see you next week. Let me describe it first. All I want to say is like you just probably gets described. Probably the arm would have been better. Um, yes, two because he fouled it. I think the arm often hurts more than the leg because you more have more mass in your leg, so that probably absorbs Jackson, more, especially fatty mass. Jackson was was really your, arm, was, bone was your desire to punch him built off the fact that he uh, said electricians are bad? Yeah, crazy. one hundred. That's where it came from. Look, Jackson. All I'm saying, I is added that electricians is just shitty electrical you engineers. Think, if you were a Pokemon, would you be electric top? Yeah, Sean can hit me if you want. Right, so the next question is: Who's far? Awesome. Why did you take your shoes off? During the year ten religion, Dude, exactly. made that question. I don't remember that. I know. I, I, you? you know, I think I did. I think I just felt more comfortable. I used to always take my shoes off during the year. Did you get fine? Surely at school you always got shoes on. No, because they took you off for it. But like, I felt like when I took my shoes off, I felt at home. You know, I was like, I didn't need to. I you just got like off. Did I? Yeah, Mr. Speechley came and got you. <laughs> no, it was Mr. Parker, but he said that's a joke. Go. He was like, "What are you doing for?" He was like distracting me. He was there. But why would you even do that? If you you learn most when you got the shoes on, you know. It's no, well, not when you're studying and you're at home, when you feel more comfortable. And a lot of the exam preparation is really comfortable in the situation, uh, performing under the pressure. So, um, yeah, I just did it to. Yeah, no, I just I, I jitter a lot, you know. I fidget. Was it if you watch the podcast? Really I've been really watching it. Yeah, so but you're I, uh, swinging so much. Oh, so you you know, just, you know, I think I just you know I jitter oh, a little bit. They came off. So Cooper, you blaze and gidget a lot. <laughs> Sorry? You blaze and gidget a lot. Who's gidget? Um, um, so what do you think about Adam Patterson's Melbourne Roar? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't actually know what this question means. <laughs> you know that. So he got Tessa Fair from, asks that. He, he got funny. cooler when he moved to Melbourne. <laughs> um, you know what? It's, he definitely what has tried. The glow up means like a sudden... Um, Appearance change to make yourself look more attractive usually. Oh, so when Adam came out from Melbourne, he, he glowed uh, up. He, he glowed up. His hair was a bit more stylish. He was wearing more, you know, cool, cool clothes. He got, he got a <laughs> bit more fit. Um, overall, I think, I think he looks good <laughs> once I saw him come from, back from Melbourne. So it sounds like grow up, but it's like glow, glow up. No, um, um, glowed up. I de- Adam, it definitely did affect him the the Melbourne change. But Adam, you've always been a real dude, but your appearance has let you down. Jeez. But I guess you Jeez, glowed you up. Me. Mate, he's got a huge cock. That's all that matters. That's all good. Care about Bro, I love Adam Patterson. What do, you, what, do you about Adam's changes? Changes? what do you think about Adam's changes? Look, I think it's since he sounds like he's footy, Adam's in it. Adam, it's actually he's more of a jock type now. now. He's a bit more of a jock. Who has the best dance moves? Uh, and if you believe you have the best dance moves, please demonstrate. Uh, asks Annie Brown. I think the best dance moves. Sweeney is the best probably, dance moves. No, I, I can't imagine I have the best dance moves. Cooper, what, who do you think has the best dance moves? That's a you, Sweeney. I think you understand. Jackson, who do you think has the best dance moves? Um, you, were, you, were, you were a lead in the uh, production. I think the best debater in Asia. Um, Sweeney, show us some. And what's this in your dance? Debate. I'm actually defending my title over the weekend. Debate while dancing. Debate while dancing. All right, here we go. Here we go. Show us some of your dance moves. 
for a guy sitting tight. Speaker, I have three points in this speech. The first thing to say is that the Centurion podcast is, is uh, the best experience you have in your life. And that's for four reasons. The first reason is Cooper. Second reason, Sean. Third reason, myself. Fourth reason, as always, Jackson. Oh, oh he's pulling up the slack. Uh, listen, how good is the Centurion? <laughs> <laughs> That's that my guess. Was That's cool. That was good. Cool. Um, uh, next question, number ninety-five. Uh, <laughs> this one's this one's pretty interesting. This is that Sean he gets his payback on Jackson. Sean gets one punch on Jackson. That's all it'll be. Hold, I'll let you hold the drink. There's no spillage. No, I'll go the arm. I'll go the arm. I'll go the, go the leg. The op- no, the optimal spot that I said would be the arm. You picked obviously the leg. Pick where you want. Pick oh, where, you want. Oh, where you want. No, it's gonna be hard. Like, this is, it's going to be not. No, I didn't, I didn't want to go too hard. I didn't want to go too soft. I don't, I don't think you Come on, go. I'm no, ready. No, no, you want anything like that? You want to show him. You want to show him. You want to show him. Jackson, explain how that felt. What? What felt? The punch. I'm ready for it. Oh, shit. Come on. Look, all I'm saying is... Oh, you sure I'm sure. All I'm saying is, tune in for the post-show. It won't be live, but tune in for the post-show. Um... Jackson and I will go on about. I got a vaccine that? today. I got a flu shot in my arm. And that's still I got a in flu shot as well. I had a flu shot as hurt. well. And you still shoot, shoot my leg. What do you my leg? Because I. Right, next question. question. Uh, uh, we are on to. I can't wait for this next question. This one's an absolute banger. Is all out culture creating positive change? Asks Anais Robville and Ben Clark. Hmm. I'll answer this one. I'll answer this one. Does does call out joint face? I like the question first. Does <laughs> call out culture count as Beth name calling me out? Is that yes? Uh, Absolutely. No, the old really. gone too far. I don't think it is. Oh wait, no, it has it. Okay. Um, no, call out culture is ex- okay. that's exactly what it is. So, what are your mates does wrong? You call them out for it. But it's not. No, I, think call out, I think call out culture refers to like like the celebrity aspect. Oh, no, like, I, oh, I, like, I, like, I think cancel like, culture. Call out culture is just think. someone does something even kind of wrong. You're like, hey, call it together. I think call out culture is good because it kind of corrects everyone mm. in a level where they're like, okay, they're not like they're not cancelled. Their career is not ended, but like what they did isn't okay, and everyone kind of. What's an example of you called that? someone out? Enough, right? Jackson. Um, when I've called someone out, probably can't give one, but I've been called out a couple. What footwear do you currently have on? You know, we, we covered this a bit, but <coughs> so, I, some stuff. Oh, yeah, I got some basic Adidas uh, gazelles on at the moment. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're trusty, they're handy. I like them. We're going to say, these, these are my beater shoes of choice. It's off white Nike Vapor Max, and everyone hates them, but you know, they're good. So I, got the, I just got the feet on. The bare feet. The <laughs> they, bare they, feet, baby. You know, they last. They Jackson, really what you got on? I've got my Yeezys on, my Show. 750s. Show Yeezys. Um, Yeezy, Jackson. I'm not that flexible. I had an injury at work. So. Jackson, didn't you win the most comfortable Jackson, last time? Show, show them to us. So, show them yeah, Yeezys. I'd have to say my Jackson's Yeezys. barefoot, and he's been a coward about it. I'm going right. to say. I've got bare feet. Girl. Jackson doesn't even own Yeezys. Jackson actually just talks about Yeezys a lot, just so everyone thinks he's more popular. Yeah, good. It's but, um, cloud building, and it's working. So you can't argue with the facts. Mm. Sweeney, what? Where does your sister wear regularly? <laughs> oh, my thongs, I think. Oh! Can I borrow your thongs? Yeah, can you borrow some of your thongs? Okay, next question. Uh, next question, what does simp mean? Sean, sure, we'll start with you. You probably are. Uh, um, some idea. So, I think simp, I don't really know, but from the Urban Dictionary, I think it means someone who... <laughs> Urban Dictionary? <laughs> um, someone who overly from worships me. a girl unnecessarily. Or a guy. Can it be guy? Be nah. like, just, just girl? Okay. Maybe it probably it could be. It could be. It refers be. mainly to... Like, oh, I can't um, my um, shot, Jackson, what does simp mean? Oh, fuck. It's like... Single... Male, no, nah, it's something. Single infidel. It's, it's an acronym. It, yeah, it's an acronym. It's something. Single it's, infidel. It's like male, male worshiping. I don't know it's an acronym. It's like single male wor- worshiping mediocre pussy. Single infidel. Wow. Single Sim. incel. Single incel male. What a segment. No, oh, it's. <laughs> pescatarian. I don't know. I'm something about worshiping mediocre pussy. I was about to say. I'll put that in there. Sim. Uh, next know. question. Um, Cooper explains Judaism. Oh, Cooper. I don't know. Um, it's, it's the oldest religion in the world, you know. Isn't sure. it? Yeah. You know, um, it's more of the Old Testament type of stuff. It is the Old Testament. Yeah. Um, the Torah. Um, everyone cuts. Torah. Who was the most prolific Jew? Uh, probably Adam Sandler. Great Abraham. 
You think Jesus? You mean, no, you mean, no, 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 right? Abraham, man. You mean how many, Abraham? People, how many Abraham. people lived in the time of Abraham? Lived? Like 20,000. No. How many people would like heard what Adam was Sandler? About? Yeah, good point. Adam Sandler, probably about half of the world. 20,000 men. No, no, I didn't know he's Jewish. 20,000 no, 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 no,